Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles's son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins.
How you doing everybody? Thank you everybody for joining the live stream. I appreciate it. So we finally got some kind of news on Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. We're going to be hearing about it next week on the 18th of April. Warhorse Studios have finally announced that they're going to show off the new game they have been working on. It still isn't really confirmed that it's Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, but it is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Like, we all knew they were working on it. Uh, I cannot wait until we see what they've done. I really hope they do change a few things though. Like, especially with the combat. So we're just going to go through and talk about it in this live stream. And just talk about the things what we would like to, for, uh, to be changed. New things what we would like to be added into the game, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to try and complete this soon. And try and get it done as quick as we can. There's Pebbles. I still got Pebbles. We need to get rid of him. He ain't cut out for this job. I've got something for you. I hope you won't need them, but just in case. Thank you. See, um, I don't think it's going to be Henry, bro. I think it might be a new character. Um... But I don't know, to be honest, they really could still play it with, like, go with Henry in the game. Um, I've got something that needs stitching up. Aye. Could you do it for me? So it could go right. either way, I, I would say, ways, mate. Rags, it could be I? a new character, it or it could be Henry. But see what I would really like to get changed, right? The combat, a little bit, like, see when you're getting... Like, if you're fighting more than one person, they try and surround you, see, the enemy. So it's quite hard to, like, because it's locked onto one character, you kind of need to pull back a little bit and then try and look at the other character. But they're on you, like, they're... It's so difficult trying to fight, like, more than one or two, pe two people. I better not do that here, in fact. That Miller ran to the guards and told on me before. But I cannot wait, man. It's going to be a good game, like. But they haven't really announced it. It is going to be Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. But, it, like, it's definitely it. It's definitely going to be that game. The second one of this. Because the... And do you know too, right? See, when this game... Like, when they finish making this game... That was when they started working on their new game. So they've been working on it for a while now, since 2018, at least. Because that was when this game came out. So it's been a few years now. And we've... I hope they show more than just a trailer. But we're meant to be getting a PlayStation Showcase soon. And I think they might show... I think they might show the trailer on the... 18th and then we'll get some gameplay at the PlayStation Showcase or Summer Game Fest See that's what I'm thinking too as well Wes mate in a way I don't like I don't think it's gonna be here in this area I feel like it's going to be a different area, a different, maybe the same time, in fact. Like, um, see, I would even like it to go to, like, England or even something like that. Like, England, Scotland. I'm trying to think of, like, old medieval places in the world. Yeah. Could even do, I know this is kind of near Germany. We could maybe even do it in Germany. What locations would you like to see, Wes, mate? But I, 
I'm more, I'm more leaning towards a new character and a new setting, like a new location. I am more leaning towards that than it being Henry again. And um, the same place, I. Unless they do it the same place, but just not with Henry. I'm really looking forward to see what they've done, though. See, with it saying it's going to be on the 18th, right? Makes me wonder if they're just going to drop it, like, see how Rockstar do it? Like, Rockstar sometimes just drops it out of the blue. Like, trailers and stuff like that, they don't use... Like, sometimes they do go to, like, E3 or, um, Summer Game Fest, but a lot of the time they do just drop trailers randomly. Um, so I wonder if that's what Warhorse Studio is going to be doing here, just dropping it randomly, or there's going to be, like, some kind of showcase or PlayStation, uh, state of play. But it's not really been announced yet from PlayStation or so. But man, I'm looking forward to it, honestly, bro. I really cannot wait for this. As soon as I seen it too, I sent it to yourself and my friend Craig, who I'm able to play this through. Shout out to you, Craig, mate, you're a legend, brother. Eh. Uh, aye, man. But the combat is the thing that I'm mostly wanting to be a little bit better. Although I do like, see how, I'm, I'm going to try and get into a fight, in yeah. fact, uh, so I can explain it a bit better. Do you know what, in fact, I'm just going to get in a fight here. In fact, I need more, I need more than one. But anyways, I like how, see how you, it's got the wee thing at the side and then when you're in combat, eh, the wee thing in the middle, like the wee dot, right, so when you're fighting the characters, you can go left, right, up, down, and sideways, you can attack. I like that, that's very unique. You don't see that in a lot of games. A lot of games are just like hack and slash, like eh, games that have got swords, weapons like that in it, it's mostly just like, keep hitting off two and then you'll get them. You don't actually get to able, uh, you, you've not got the choice to swing it in certain ways, where in this game you do. And that was quite hard to get used of, see, to start with, when I was first started playing this game. It was quite hard to get used of, but as soon as you get the hang of it, it is quite easier. Although, I just usually pick the mace and just clobber them over the head with it. That's what I usually do in the game. Right, hold up. I'm just going to fast travel here so I can talk a wee bit easier. Oh, it's here, right. Wait. Kind of get it because of that. There we go. Aye, that would be quite cool that way it's mate too, in fact, hold on bro, I need to get my charger, my phone's just died. <laughs> Aye, the War of the Roses would be good, or see if uh, they did the War of the Three Kings, that'd be also quite good as well, That or Three Kingdoms I should say, I'm sure it was called the War of the Three Kingdoms, and that was England, Scotland and Ireland. Um, but I worry the roses, I. That'd be quite a good setting to do it into. There's so much potential with it as well. See, with the second game, man. Right, where am I going again? I need to go straight on up here. In fact, mark it. Right down there. Aye, because there's lots of, like, see some parts, like I mentioned in this game before, see some of the locations in this game are actually in, like, real life. 
you can go and visit them today, basically. That's a bad omen, by the way, in Scotland. Well, see if that was a, a black horse. That's a bad omen. And, in fact, I'll talk about that too, in fact. Um, see Game of Thrones, the bloody wedding episode where Rob's, Rob Stark and his mother, Catelyn Stark, and Rob's girl, pregnant girlfriend die fr- to the hands of that guy from Harry Potter. Um, well, that that really happened in Scotland. That was straight out of Scottish history, right? And remember they put a wolf, the the black wolf's head, on a plate and uh, served it to Rob Stark and that was when everything all went down. That I that's a bad omen in like in Scotland. And that's what kinda came from that eye. Right, we still need to help these guys. I need to give his do his wall for him, I forgot about that. Right, hold on, that place is still sick. Do we not need to go up? Right, what's that again there? Ah, he, he doesn't matter. Right, he's in a shed somewhere. I remember doing this part of the mission before. There, but even like if it's there's been lots of things they could like settings they could do it. They could do it in France. They could do it in England. They could do it in Germany. They could do it in Scotland, Ireland, uh, Spain. I cannot wait to see what they've came up with. It's in here. Well, I'm going in there, mate. If you like it or not. Good to you. I need to talk to that captive. Sorry, no one's allowed inside. Melikar's orders. But I'm Sir Radzig Cobbler's envoy, and I urgently need to question the captive. I don't care if you're the Pope's envoy. I can't let you in. If you want to talk to the captive, you have to get permission from Melikar. Good luck to you. I see. I do actually think the map is going right, the map in this is pretty massive itself. Like, you've still got all this down here you can discover. All this here, I'm sure that is a town there too. There's not much over here left, it's just forest I'm sure, same way up here, there's an eye, but the, ma the map is quite big, but uh, aye, it's going to be massive in the second game, right, let's go and batter this guy again, so we can go and talk to this guy, where are you, where is he, guy, where is he? Mate, I'll, I'll decide, alright? Take care now. Um, but imagine that if they did like Three Kingdoms, mate, that would be actually quite cool, that. Like three different uh, countries together. Right, it's not going to be up here. I was meant to cure these guys of their sickness too. And because I went to go and study that other thing, it uh, messed up this mission. Right, where are you? You're meant to be in there. I hope we get another mutt though. And the game's quite realistic itself already, like you need to eat, you need to sleep, you need to... It's not you. Ah, you need to eat, you need to sleep, all that stuff. Um, I wonder if they'll do stuff like, see, in Skyrim. Uh, not in Skyrim. Um, Fable. The game's Fable. I wonder if they'll let you, like, uh, buy properties and rent them out to places. I know you can do that in Skyrim as well. And then you can get in, like, marry people and stuff like that. I wonder if they'll 
add stuff like that into the game. Because, like I said, they, they really go for, like, uh, realistic stuff in the game. So I wonder if they'll try and add something like that. Right, that was the guy who'd be buried, so was in fact this. Just with candles there, that's what I remember me of. Where is this uh, guy who I'm looking for? Is it you? I think it is you. It is you. Come here, you. I want to talk to you. Here, you. Why is you not let me talk to him? Right, I don't know why it's not letting me talk to him. And that's the blind guy, Daniel. I'll talk to you again. Brother, is that you? We have to hitch up the sled. Yes, yes, the sled. Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Wait a while. I'll be back. Right, I feel like we gave him some kind of cure there. With telling him to drink it there. But I do think they're going to be like a... Hold on. I do think they will add stuff like that, like uh, rent houses, uh, buy houses and rent them out to people like they're doing f uh, Fable. And uh, I, the only, it is really the only combat I wish. Don't speak to me. Oh, that was him who I barred the last time. Why is it not letting me talk to that other guy? It was him we need to talk to, I'm sure. Mordecai, or whatever his name is, that guy we walked right by, but he just said the dog to attack him. Should I just bar him? What about you? You look alright, you look fine and dandy now. Good day. What do you want? Alright, sour boss. You're from Melikar's farm? Y yes. I need to talk to the captive. Oh, no, no. Melikar forbade me to let anyone near him. What do, what do you mean by that? If that's how you want it, are you going to just batter her now, Henry? You can't have that, man. I don't hurt women. I mean, you don't have to let me in. You might just forget to lock the door. But why would I forget to lock the door? Well, you might find some groschen lying on the ground. But I, I can't wait until the 18th, though. Oh, I see. So it's I only, a, what is it, on a week now? Are we agreed? Come now. Just a little more and we have a deal. Oh, she's trying to get every penny she can out of me. It'll stay just between the two of us. You can be sure of it. <laughs> you can be right. sure of it. <clears throat> Aye, mate, I, f I think Henry wanted to say about her there, bro. I can't be doing that, man. I don't hit women. I hope the graphics are real. Like, I know it's going to be a next generation game, too. Well, I hope it's going to be a next generation game, like just PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. But I know it's quite not fair for the like older generation uh, console players that don't want like who haven't got a PS5 or next generation console yet. But I really do hope it's going to be a next generation game, especially if it's going to be like a sixty pound game, seventy pound game. Right, I think I need to wait until night and then she opens it for me. So we're going to skip time a wee bit. So next Thursday, aye, that was it, bro. So what is that, Wes? A week? And then we're going to hear about Kingdom Come Deliverance too. I can't wait for it. Honestly, I've been waiting so long for a Kingdom Come too. Right, we're going to just skip time now. Hopefully she opens it for us. Sorted. 
Right, let's see if she's opened that for me. I need to put one of these on. Right, he's away. It must be open now. Sparta kick! Hello, pal. Matt, you stay there really now. You guard that door, make sure nobody gets in here. It looks like he's caught that sickness. What am I gonna do? If he dies, I'll be right back where I started. So we need to find the cure. Jesus, he's Thank sick too. Stop. I'll have to try and keep him alive. Take care of him. Alright, if you you said that to a mobster, you'd pick up on that wrong. Be thinking you make him sleep with the fishies. Do you know I was looking at uh, buying Rockstar's L.A. Noir? I love that game. It's such an underrated game. Right, so we need to... Wait there, what's this here? That's just popped up there too. Right, so I think I need to go back to the monastery. Don't know if it was here. Aye. Mutt, a uh, horse, pebbles. Kingdom Come Deliverance uh, Royal Edition is ninety percent off. That's a bargain, by the way, because you get all the DLC with it as well. Honestly, it's anybody who likes these kind of games, like medieval kind of games, I do highly recommend this to them. Although, like I said, the combat is absolutely brutal. But when you start leveling up, then you become a boss. Unless you've got like five on one, then it's a bit tricky. But, eh, uh, what was that about race 2? Are the sales still going on right now? See the Easter sales? I want to buy uh, Resident Evil 2, the original. But see, trying to find that, it's, it's like trying to find Silent Hill 2 and uh, yeah. Haunting Ground and uh, Kuno and Ruler Rose. It's just... When you find it, it's a lot of money. It costs a lot of money. Right, you. I need to talk to you. I think oh. I have it. Yes. I don't. I don't what have do you it. Make of it. Wait, there. I know this. It is poison in the water. It is poison in the water. I remember this. Water. Really. Sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul... Oh, so it's spring so, sales now, right? We'll yeah, aye. Contradict him. We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. I never actually thought of that there, ways, mate. I could help with that. I don't want to help with it, really? but I'm going to. I'm going to. Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. No, you don't, and Henry. Stop lying. Who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Excellent. I'll give you the recipe, and you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. I'll get started right away. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. Oh yes, Merhoyed. I'll take Johanka with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Once you have the medication, Aye, so it's mainly the graphics Thank you, and brother. combat that I want. Like a wee bit better. So I'm not too bothered about the locations. I know that the story. Wait there. Aye, I need time to cure him first. Care more than I don't care what the setting is of some or anything like that. I know that it's going to be a great story as a. Uh, because this is a good story into it too, man, they, they did well with it. You better do that captive first, mate. 
That's it, you run along. Right, so I ain't got a clue what I'm doing here. Right, I want to look at the book first, mate. Look at the book. Right, poison. Oh, wait there, that's no cure for poison, in fact, is it? I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. Right, aye, that's actually poison. Right, this is it. This is what we need. First, oh, right, we can get them. Easy. I'm doing good, Modern, mate. I appreciate you coming to the stream, man. We finally get an announcement for Kingdom Come 2 Deliverance on the 18th of April, mate. So next week. I cannot wait for it, bro, honestly. Alan Wake Remaster. See, I'm, I want to go on to the PC and buy American Nightmare, and there was a, that other one, I'm sure you mentioned to me as well, bro. Right, hold on. We need the water. Right, water. Thistle. I don't know how many thistles it was, in fact. Go back to read it. Two and one. Is that one or seven? One. Right, so we need to go and get our own stuff. I thought there was stuff in here that we could use. I don't got any thistles on the horse. Nothing, literally nothing on the horse. Oh, it's all hard it. All right, I never knew that. How's it not showing then? There we go. Right, I'm sure there's a wee place up here, but we can pick them. Unless it's just nails, but it's here. Is it here? It's here. Right, there's thistle. No, it's no thistle. There's a thistle right there. Maybe Scottish thistle beauty. I really do need to try and get back and do Alan Wake again, mate. But I want to do that. I want to play Alan Wake, this first game first. Then go on and move on to the second game. Hey, it's none of you. No, that's not all you. Uh, I remember this guy actually gets you to pick out all, all the weeds here. And that's so frustrating, by the way. Right, there's none here. Is this some? Nope. Nope. Right, take it, we need to find some on our own then. There are herbal women around. I can't remember what they were called, I've just forgot again there too. I like doing that mission too, with the stone mason stonemasons. Somebody tries to drop a brick on your head. I just want to look at the book. Look at the book. <clears throat> right, I remember that. Please. Aye, Warzone's always been like that ever since. There's no more uh, casual players, it's all just wolves, mate, in COD right now. Especially Warzone. Like, uh, 
Aye. Ever since, I would say, ever since Warzone yeah. 1 ended, it was roughly, that was when all the casuals kind of left. Then it was just all wolves, man. Like, everybody and their dog, man, were just pure competitive. And I don't mind it though, see, being competitive, mate, because it makes me be a better player. Like, pushing fights all the time and stuff like that, and then you learn by your mistakes, and then... Uh, you just pick up from there, basically. Um, but, I I love it. I'm absolute. It's more campery, like, see, the folk I come across, and their sweats at the same time. They're actually sweats camping. And you're like, what, man, that's, like... It's just brutal. Yeah. See, we're in like Caldara, eh, not Caldara. What's it called again? R eh, Ashiki Island and eh, Vondel. They weren't well. Vondel was a wee bit campery, like people on rooftops. That's what I used to call them, just rooftop campers. Um, but how do, how can I get there closer? In fact, through fast traveling. Just go there. Oh, this is another thing that I want changed in the game, in fact, in this game. Is when you go to the map, you've got this wee X where you can mark things, right? But sometimes you, you can't see it, so you need to go back out of it. So I want the map to change a little bit. Like this, like this wee X thing, I want that to fuck off basically and they can put something else there because it's so annoying at times but aye, Ashiki Island that wasn't really too much campers we, we've just been really coming across them mostly on uh, Vondel uh, not Vondel, uh, Rebirth Island and it's weird that everybody's camping at it and it's not like we're not uh, we're getting bot lobbies because we're not there's people in our lobbies that are getting like the nooks and stuff like that too, you know what I mean? And we're killing the players. It was quite crap, I wasn't able to pick that nook up. But, eh... Uh... Right, hold on, I need to go and... Yeah. I need to go up here. Yeah, what's going on there? Out my way. We should be hearing something about uh, Golf Warson as well, the new Call of Duty game that will be coming out this the end of this year. It's going to be a Black Ops game as well, continuing the Black Ops. Uh, cannot wait for it. It's been in development for about four or five years. It's the longest Call of Duty game that's been in development. So it's going to be a belter. It's going to be a good one, hopefully, hopefully anyway. I'm kind of lost with Activision at the moment. I mean, them don't go on too much anymore. Uh, wake up! No, my God, no! I, I wake up. Sleep. No, wake up. What you got? I need you to wake up so I can buy stuff. Nettles. Nettles. Don't want your nettles. to wake up, I'm going to need to sit down for a wee bit, where's the bench, there should have been a bench here I thought, no, now we're going to need to wait until morning. Aye, what is that new mode they added again? Um, I still haven't played that yet, something, boot camp. I'm sure it was called. 
Is that an actual Battle Royale, though? Is she awake yet? Ah, she's awake. Oh, there she is, right there. What do you want from me? I don't think she's got anything I need. I sure has. I'm sure, aye, it was this. I don't know how much we need, so we're gonna buy five. Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. Ah, right, so, oh, that's right, I can remember you mentioned that to me, mate. So it is a battle royale, but is this? it like a big map or a small map, I'd like Resurgence? I, for that amount, I can be persuaded. See, another thing that I would like in Kingdom Come 2 Deliverance, if they let you do it like third, like, eh... Uh, like a behind-the-shoulder camera, like Resident Evil remakes, but let you still go first person as well. I don't know how, if they're going to stick with, see, the combat, what they have in this game, right, so if they're going to stick with the combat way, like how you can, you can, um, attack, if you're going to go for, like, the left side, left top, bottom, uh bottom, shit like that, left, right, up, down, fucking, side by side, <laughs> um, I don't know if they're going to do that still, in it, which I really do hope they do, like, see, the combat is very unique in this game, like I mentioned, it, like, there's not any other game that I can think of, let me, let me fast travel, man, there we go, Like, I, I've never seen the combat in this game in any other games, basically. It's, it's its own thing, and I like it, although it really is frustrating. I'm about to get jumped. <coughs> Alright, so it's a big map. It's the big map, then, eh, Modern Man. Oh, wait there, I've, I was meant to go to the monastery, man. Jesus Christ. Right. Oh, typical. Yeah. See, like, like I said about Kingdom Come 2, right, they've been working on that game since 2018 at least. So, they, I reckon they've finished the game already. So it'll probably be coming out actually this year, the end of this year, maybe the start of next year. Right, so what was, is that one or seven? I think it's one, but we'll find out. See if it's seven and I need to go back and buy another two, I'm going to be raging. Oh, did we get charcoal? We didn't get charcoal, shit. Is there any there I can steal? Right, get away here. Can I... Who 
Right, there's no chance of opening that. Jesus Christ. Right, we're gonna need fast travel again. And Henry needs his bed too, man. Right, so charcoal. We need to, I, I can't believe I never got that. Right, let's do that again. Oh, what are you doing, Henry? Get back on the horse. But I would like a like a third person mode in this game too, but that would mess up the combat as such, I would say. I don't know how they would be able to do that, but I do hope they do a third person view on it. But I still wouldn't mind if it was first person. Right, he's absolutely shattered. Yeah. Yeah. And the bear give you a better starting horse than Pebbles, man. Pebbles is just yeah. not cut out for this. Although he's all right until he he comes near enemy, and then he'll just throw you off. And another thing I would like them to add in Kingdom Come Deliverance too is more wild animals, like bears and wolves and stuff like that, instead of just being like a uh, hare, rabbits, deer. That's the only thing you really come across in this game. Right, what you got for me? And get a move on, because you really don't smell good. You're a cheeky bitch. Tim, she just said I stank. Excuse me, you've not got any... Where's the charcoal, man? I'm buying another two just to be safe. You've not even got any charcoal, woman. i just try and get some charcoal. Let's have a word about the I will try that new mode though. Hmm. All right, so. For a, a war zone. Is this enough? But I don't. We don't really play the big map much first. at all. It's just resurgence, really. That's all we play. Well, that's a decent price. Right, some charcoal would be nice. Uh, trying to think who would have it. What about the Miller guy down here? He might have some. Or we might actually need to go to that Miller because he's got more stuff. If no, there should be some up here, but we can get. But sometimes you're quite you're timed with these missions as well, by the way, sometimes. But it doesn't actually tell you that. So I, I hope that changes in the game as well. Like, see, if you don't do a mission, like, you can fail it. And, like, a certain amount of time, you can fail it. Right, so, get on the horse. Nay nee hassle, Wes, bro. appreciate you stopping by too, mate. And uh, whatever you and the boys get up to tomorrow for Friday, mate. I hope you have a good one, mate, and stay safe, brother. Thank you again for stopping by, dude. How you doing, McLovin, man? We're getting Kingdom Come 2 deliverance soon, mate. We're getting some kind of announcement on the 18th of April, mate. So next week, we'll be hearing about the game. I cannot wait, brother, honestly. I've been waiting so long for that. That will probably uh, that will probably be my most like the game that I'm looking forward to the most. If that drops this year, hundred percent, man, I cannot wait for it. I seen Tom Henderson 
he's a well known leaker and he's, he gets things right all the time. He does all like all games, any game basically he'll, he'll if he hears something and he's got proof of it, he'll post it out basically. And I um, he said that Warhorse Studios is gonna be announcing their new game on the eighteenth of this month. And they've been working on the, that game, whatever game they've been working on. They've been working on it since they finished this game in 2018. So, I'm everybody, we all think it's going to be Kingdom Come 2 because of how well, like, how well this game did. So, um... I've got some goods here who's only might miss them. I, I cannot right. wait, mate. Let's see what we can do about that. <laughs> I see that's what I was wanting to mate, right? I I know this might sound bad, right? But I hope it isn't like I th I hope it's just next gen, like a next gen game. This guy's not got any either, I don't think. I hope it's a next gen game, bro. I don't. I hope it's not on PS4 and the old Xbox. He's not got any either, man. Where did I get charcoal from? I know you can get the wee, f yeah. the wee uh, charcoal guys, but I don't think you actually buy it off them. Let me check up here quickly. But the graphics, um, the graphics, the combat, that's really all I want changed. Although the combat is okay in it, but it, it's very outdated. And especially like when you've got like say three guards or four um, on you, they all try and surround you, mate. So it's hard to like because you're locked onto one of them, and then you're trying to get to the one on the left, which is circling you, and it's hard to actually change over to him. You need to kind of run back a little bit and then move it. But when you're running back, it doesn't have your weapon out either. Well, it does have your weapon out, but your hands are lowered down. So, you can take a hit easy when you're like that. Right, I don't think it's you. Right, I need charcoal, come on! What about this here? Maybe. Let's try in here quickly though. What you got for me, my good sir? I'm honest, it looks like it's only food though. So I'm gonna bolt. Right, I'm sure they've all got food down there too. What's going on? Where did I get this charcoal? Right, that's... Let me just check you out. My respects to you. So, I was saying before too, right? They're going to be showing the game off, or even a trailer, right? But, see, people, they usually wait until, like, showcases or, like, summer game event before they do that, and some, summer game events just around the corner. PlayStation are getting a... PlayStation are doing a, a showcase soon, as well. There we go. <coughs> so, I don't know what... I, it makes me think, in a way, that we might be getting like some kind of showcase soon, next week, that's just Let's not been announced yet, that Warhorse Studios... I've just announced like they're going to be shown their new game off on the 18th. We agree? But like a show, like it's going to be a, at a showcase or a PlayStation State of Play, and maybe it's just PlayStation haven't announced yet that they're going to do that. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I don't. F I feel like they aren't going to drop it just randomly. They're not big like that, they're not Rockstar level, you know what I mean? Rockstar usually drops stuff randomly at times without being like at big showcases or something like that where 
yeah. Warhorse Studio is kind of newish, like a newish studio. They've not done many games really, so that's I kind of do feel like we're gonna get some kind of showcase or place to stay to play soon, like next week. Fucking nearly choked on my juice there, man. So I graphics, the combat, and add more wild animals, I would say. Me and Wes were talking in the comments there too, and he was asking me if he, I think it's going to pick up from Henry. Or, and be in the same location, but in a way I don't. I feel like it's going to be a new character and a new setting. Like I would like it to, I would like to see it and like see Scotland, England, Ireland, something like that, or even France. Do it something like that. Right, I'm in the wrong place again, man. I thought I went to the monastery here. In fact, is this not the monastery? Oh, that's... well, I went to the wrong place. And then Wes mentioned to me too, because see certain places in this game in Kingdom Come Deliverance, certain places are straight from real life. You can literally go and visit them today. So, eh... Uh, it'd be cool if they did something like that. And like use some of the castles, saying like, sc like Scotland, England. If they do it in that kind of this side of the world, or if they do somewhere else in Europe, use actual real castles what are from in real life, like they did in this. And we've got lots of them here. Well, in Scotland we still have quite a lot of them, but we burnt down a lot of them as well back in the day. Right, so I'm not too sure still if that says 7 or 1, but we've got enough anyway. Right, I think it's just 1 because it's saying it for the charcoal too. Right, wait, 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 go back, to, no, 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 go back to the book. Right, you get water. How can I not put any stuff in it? There we go. Right, two. See, I think it's seven. I do think it's seven, in fact, because it looks more like seven there. So just whack all it in. Just whack all it in, mate. I'm not too sure if we did that right, but I feel like we have. It should be anyway. So you're bubbling away there. Right, are we good? Can we take this now? A bit more. Did it failed to brew it. How did I fail to brew it? I literally used what it told me to use. Right, so water or water. Right. 
charcoal. Right, it's only, it's not letting me decide how much to put in it, though. It's been a while since I did this, by the way, everybody. Right, did I just... No, 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 aye, that. Right. Put other stuff in it now. Oh, wait there, I think I need to put more charcoal in it. Right, so that's two I put into it there. We need seven, I think. I never said for you to stop boiling. Keep boiling. Keep boiling. Right, come on. So have you been on uh, Warzone lately, McLovin, mate? I've been really enjoying it, man, except from the, the campers, the, the sweaty campers. That's what we've been coming across, man, all the time. And there's no in between, too. Oh, no, wait, right, I need one more thistle. We can get some up the back there, though. Shit. I better still have my stuff there. You horrible bastard. Need to get more of that. Right, thistle. Oh, that's nettle. I don't want the nettle, I want the thistle. There we go. Right, let's head back up the now and see if that's still sitting in the pot. I don't think it is though. Spot a kick. I can't sleep again. No, it's no one. Oh, got it. I'm gonna need to go back. Hey, right, where is it? Right, we've got the charcoal there. But we still need more. I think it is seven, by the way. Right, we've got two of them. We need one more of that. Have a wee look at that book again, because I'm sure it says seven. Fucking get away from that. Right, seven, two, and seven. Hey, this guy's gonna die, by the way. I did save him before I remember doing this mission, too. Right, this is going to be actually hard. Right, back to that herbalist. It can be a bit stressful at times, modern mate, to be honest. Wait, oh, we're good there. And you don't need to apologise, McLovin, man, you're good, bro. Two minutes, I'm still reading that part of the message, though, mate, but bear with me. Right. He's literally about to crash out, man. Right, is there a room here we can rent? Start the in here. No. What, what's going on? 
So that's the inn. No, that's Butcher. Henry's about to cash right out, man. It does matter then, fuck it. Soldier on, Henry. I see, uh, it's the same, COD's been the same like forever man, there's been lots of campers and hackers, <laughs> and hackers. Uh, I, we've came across a few hackers on, uh, what's it called again? Rebirth Island. Uh, can I not pick any of these? Because I'm sure that's what I need. I think I can't pick them because he's that tired. I must be, must be. Hey, where is she again? She's up here. Whistle the horse, get the horse. Let's go, Pebbles. Aye, we should be hearing about a uh, golf wars and like, I feel like I've just, in fact, there we go, I'm going to camp, I'm going to just sleep right here. Mother of God. Hey, who's there? Mother of guys. I'm sorry to deal with them guys. And that's Henry who's absolutely tired too. And I need that there. To them. That too, that too. Pick lock. To me. Right, let me take your bed, mate. Aye, Warzone's addictive, mate. It's really addictive, Warzone, man. <clears throat> I still enjoy it. It's a love-hate relationship I've got with it, man. I hate it when I run into campers. Eh, not campers, hackers. Because we do, like, wipe out quite a lot of the campers, to be honest. But I hate just going through buildings, man. And they're all in each corner on my end, just camping. That's why we use like fermates and shit like that, man, eh, just to try and scatter them out of the rooms. Right, we already did the Ratty tournament. But I'm going to try and save these guys here. I need to work on that. Pick locks. Do you know what? Take it all. Just take it all. Move it to the horse. Is that better than my shield? No. Aye, with Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, I feel like they're going to do something similar to what Fable, the game's Fable did. And that was like, uh, where you're able to buy houses and then rent them out. And like, how you can get married and have kids and stuff like that. I don't know if they'll be able to, like, if they'll do that, like, for you to have kids in the game. But I do feel like they're going to do like a, a like a 
where you can be like in a relationship kind of stuff because they do try and make this game um, realistic. There's lot like this game is so realistic, and uh, so I feel like they're gonna continue that kind of way. You could at least dress decently before showing your face in public. You're a middle old cow, man. I don't like you. I don't like her. Right, thistles. We've got plenty back there anyway, but we're gonna buy some more. We'll just buy all of these off her too, fuck it. Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. Alright, so do you know, like, uh, apparently, like, t over 2,000 uh, accounts got permabanned Since over the year. weekend for cheating. That's not and enough. even a lot of streamers and stuff like that, too. But see, the thing is, too, if you get permabanned on Warzone and you claim that you weren't cheating, like a live streamer, they must have found some kind of, some kind of sus thing on your PC or something like that. For them to ban you, you know what I mean? I've been seeing a lot of, well not a lot, but a few content creators on YouTube over the weekend when they got permabanned. I need to go to this guy for charcoal again. See, to be honest, Modder, they might actually end up doing that one day, just for the casual fans. Because, surely Activision, no, like I mentioned before, there's no really much casual players that play Warzone or COD nowadays. It's all just wolves, man, there's o it's only the wolves that are left. So, yeah. I, do believe, I, I do think, or I do feel like they should do that one day. Or even just get skill-based matchmaking, like uh, better for people like that. For myself though, I, I hate skill-based matchmaking because uh, it just puts you, like they say skill-based matchmaking makes you go against people that you are, are on the same level as you, but if that's true, why have ranked mode? You get me? Because that's what ranked mode's apparently, like what that's meant for. So why, if you, I just don't understand skill based matchmaking because that's what they, they said it was for anyway. To put players in the same uh, games as people that are the same level as them at the game. But if that was the case, why have ranked? What about this? Now, just a little more, and we have a deal. See, so, yeah, yeah. I've been coming across too, McLovin, mate. Lots of people that are only like level one, level two, eh, fucking level 45, and that. And you're like, how are people that level still in Warzone nowadays? It's fucking mental. And their gameplay, their gameplay is like people like me, and or even better than me, man. You're like, pfft. That's a bit sus there, like. I need to do the same to Mother, to be honest. I drink too much Monster, mate. I used to drink water all the time, man. Sorry for coughing in everybody's ears there, I apologise about that. It just caught me there. I usually mute my mic when I'm about to cough, but I didn't have the chance there, like, it was just out before I, before I knew it. Eh, uh, but I... So, starting Monday, I was thinking about doing 
Resident Evil, right? Yeah. I've been meaning to do Resident Evil 3 remake, but I'm thinking about doing all the Resident Evils from the original, from the start, basically Res 1, then go to Res 2, then Res 3, and then do the original Resident Evil. Oh, are you back? And then do the Resident Evil 3, like remake, uh, original. So here I am. How are things looking? Things are looking bad, lad. Very bad. Almost everyone died. We were too late. Oh, the captive. You mean that wretch they locked up in the barn? I don't know, lad. I doubt he survived. But I wanted to try and save everybody last time. Fuck it. This is the first time I've ever done it this way. Like, where you haven't actually saved the place. Just hold on. Wait a minute, though. I want to try this. I can't sleep again. I should have just let him do this. Alright, that's alright. I don't need that shit. Right, so seven of all, seven of everything. In fact, no, it was two. Two of the thistles. The Scottish thistle. And then seven of the rest of it. Alright, oh, I've been pushing the wrong button there. Just whack it all in, mate. Whack it all in. Oh, come on, grab it. See, I wish it would let you, like, just put, like, seven in just right here, right now. But it doesn't give you that option to do it, man. It's like, it you, it only makes you do it one by one. And it's quite annoying. So hopefully they change stuff like this as well, in the game, uh, in Kingdom Come 2. Quiet. Shut up, you. I'll talk if I want to talk. Right, one more. And then, what was this here? Right, seven of this. Is there no more of that? Get some more in there. Why is it not letting me? It's not letting me. Alright then. It won't work. Aye, the re realism will be brilliant in this, in Kingdom Come 2 Deliverance, mate. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, I mean. Uh, but nay hassle, McBobbin, man. I'll, I'm going to try and be live uh, early tomorrow because I'm going to be doing Warzone at night, mate. Um, so I want to try and get two live streams done. Or try and do three, if I can. Um, Quiet. But you shut up, I'm talking to chat team. Then you tell me you shut up. Um, aye, so I'm gonna try and finish this tomorrow, and um, 
then I'll do some Warzone later on at night. I'm really looking forward to getting some games. Don't know if my brother's back. He, he was away down your end somewhere, eh? So I'm not too sure if he's on this weekend or if it's gonna be like hostile war. Somebody else, man. Right, I don't think this is gonna work. How did I do this again? There we go. Aye, nothing. Right, let's talk to this guy. Hey, where's your torch? Ah, oh, shut up, mate. You can't walk around here. Right, who did I need to talk to again? Up here. Was it here? Don't see where any... Aye, must be. Unless... No, that was a tournament down there. So aye, it is up here. Getting jumped. There we go. I'm going to try and get back to Alan Wake soon as well. I might actually do that before Resident Evil, in fact. Who did he say that we need to talk to again? I can't even remember. Spot a kick. And you good? Jesus, he, Jesus, he's sick too. I'll have to try and keep him alive. Right, he told me to talk to somebody. Oh yeah, we've got some... There we go. I've hardly actually done any of that. The pick locking. Right, so I do need to do that. I need to go back up there, man. Jesus Christ. Can this guy not just... Right, see, this is what I'm talking about too. I can't see the B cross thing. So I hope that changes. And Kingdom Come 2. Right, right, I see it now. I hope this guy can do it for me. Because I keep messing up. It looks like it says 7, though. When I'm looking at it. How much have we got left? Oh, hey, that guy's well, we need to drop that off to. His, I can't remember who it is. Right, we need to go and get another thistle. We'll get him up here. In fact, no, we don't. It's only two. You wake up, brother. Brother, I need you. Alchemy sucks. I'm just going to go with one of both of them, then two.
Right, so what was it? One charcoal I was going to do? Right, one, one, and two. Must be right this. In fact, we tried this at last time, did we not? Usually it turns another colour, I'm sure too, though. If it was right. Right, I did do it. Right. So it was one. Right, back to up here. So what would you all like to see for Kingdom Come 2 Deliverance? Well, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Like, my main things, really, well, I'm a wee bit biased, I would like to see it in Scotland, like, medieval Scotland, that'd be brilliant. And then maybe, like, add, like, obviously, you could be able to go down to England, Ireland, stuff like that, that'd be quite cool. Um, but, I the combat, the graphics, and more wild animals, I would say, that'd be quite cool. Like bears, uh, wolves, big mm. cats. Mm. Now let's wait and see what happens. I need to sleep. Aye, most of the people died here too. We could have saved everybody, man. I did save everybody. See, the first time I played this game. Right, I think we can sleep in here. Right, let's go and see to this bandit. I feel like I'm in Scotland, man, it's still raining. I fucking win it. I've already won it. Get your Excuse me? Respects to you. I need to talk to that captive. You again. I told you, no one gets inside. And I told you, I'll beat the Holy Spirit into you. 
I'm inside, mate. What are you gonna do about it? Welcome back to the land of the living. Who are you? My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. Don't imagine it'll save your skin, though. Oh, I don't. I'll dangle on a rope soon enough. Nothing sure. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Privislovitz. And Runt got his See the thing the too chief. about this game as well, the they don't use the, the same face painted. model over and over again, where a lot of games do that, you see the same NPCs walking around all the time with the same face models and stuff like that, and this game, like, you'll not see any of them, well, nah, that's not true, some, some of them are, but a lot of them aren't, like, uh, copy and paste. How did you know about Privis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. We met near Puddenberg. <laughs> More what? I was robbing More what? who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking and he told me about Privis Lovitz. Who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble... It's all fake coin, though. Judging by how he looks. It's fake. More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la di da like a lord. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyet, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Privislov. It's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord. Common footbads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles. The occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. Know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind, or whether he had one ball or two. All I was <laughs> in was the coin. Uh -huh. I need to start recording, in fact. Because I'd probably see scenes like that, man. You want that for a uh, YouTube shorts? It's funny, man. And that more what? More cock? Why did you attack Merhoyev? The chief himself gave us the order. But I reckon he wanted Aye, so to... Aye, so on the 18th he was of April, finished. that's he when we hear race. about Kingdom she Come to Deliverance. Eh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I'm just going to call it Kingdom Come 2, alright? I didn't even ha hear a word that he said, I was talking over that there. It'll come up in a second though. That ah, doesn't matter, fuck it. So Moving on. Coin was of course I did. I brought those Groshen to Privis Lovitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? 
Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. And see what another thing I would like to see on a Kingdom Come Deliverance too. Right, see when you can see in uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, see how you used to do the sieges, like you and your army would go and take over a castle. I hope it does stuff like that in this game. I know you do get some battles when you and your army are against like the other army in this game, but it's still not the same. I feel like they need to do stuff like that where you can literally take over castles in the in the second game. And does this Manhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. Who else knows about the money? I'm going to do a live stream Chief, as well men of the event, what they'll be showing on the 18th as the, well. The men got some real money too with the full stuff. I'll do like a live stream of the actual event though. Minted coin. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence. Apparently. Give it to me then. I'd be delighted. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. And that's all. That's all I need to know for now. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. He's not getting his hands on you. You're coming with me. That's for Sir Radzi to judge. <clears throat> He's coming with me. Henry, I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Here, I beat you down once already. But you can't kill me! Not just like that! Shut the fuck up, you weasel! I keep it fucking shut! You don't even get a say! Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Malikar! Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. He's coming with me. You don't want another fight. He's coming with me. He's Sir Radzik's prisoner, and only Sir Radzik has the right to decide if he lives or dies. I don't give a fuck about you or Sir Radzik fucking Kabila. That bastard killed my boy, and I'm gonna kill him. You'll have to deal with me first. Sir Henry. Spot a punch, spot a punch. Knee to the face. Knee to the face again. Spot a kick. You don't want the smoke. Where are you keeping him? Oh Jesus Christ. Okay then, okay then, you got moves too, I see. I see pal, you set yourself down, soldier. Where are you keeping him? He's coming with me. If any of you got something to say, you end up like him. So, what, what? Excuse me? Did you not just see what just happened there, mate? Do you want to be next? Are you waking up yet? Hey, anyway, you're coming with me, let's go.
I wish I could have saved that town though, but like I said, I did it before. But I got a wee bit stuck there, like I thought it said seven of them, but it was it was one. I wish it it does kinda look like a seven too. Pain in the arse, man. Give me a little second everybody, I'm just going to nip to the toilet quickly, I hope you're all enjoying the content. I cannot wait until the second game, honestly. I've been waiting so long for this, I'm glad we're finally getting some news about it soon. And it's really not that long away too. Right, but anyway, give me a second everybody, I appreciate your time. That's me back everybody, thank you all for your patience, let's get into it. Right, so we need to go and talk to Dad, I mean Sir Radjik, eh, Sir Radjik, or whatever his name is. Big cobbler, him. Where is he though? Right, he's there I think. No, that's that guy. That's the tournament. What's our stats at, in fact? 50%. We could maybe win that tournament. Fuck it, we'll try it. We'll try that. With our energy, I'm not too sure if we'll be able to, but let's try it. Aye, the 18th can't come quick enough though, to be honest. It's the game that I'm actually looking forward to the most if it releases this year anyway. Hey, where are you? There you are. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. Alright. As long as you've got the enrollment stake, Sarnish's rule is every contestant has to put up three score groschen. That's nothing to me, mate. Of course. That's who you are. I'll write your name down. Henry, you said. And I need to know what weapon you choose. The mace. Oh, you suck, man. Why are you not giving me a mace? Warhammer and shield. I know how to handle those. Good. Get yourself ready. Your oh, I'm ready. I was born for this, mate. Really smash. Entering the arena now will be Henry of Skelets from the Because we've only got fifty percent energy. We might not win this, but Stenyek, a 
apprentice to the Ratai scribe. Welcome our warriors. Hear your war cry, mate. Let me hear it. The combatants have entered the arena and the first duel may Why is he your chit chat, mate? Let's get in about it. Let me set him up about him like a tramp eating chips. Go wild on him. You ready? You ready for this? I don't think you're ready. Spot a kick! Oh, you're done, mate. Spot a kick! Oh, you're lucky you missed that one. I said, just put I'm in the corner. Set your smoke, pal. Easy work, mate. Easy work. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. We already know who the winner is here, mate. Come on, let's be honest. Right, lock on to him then. Oh Jesus Christ, you've got moves. You think you're tough. You just bully you and put you into the corner again. Spar a kick. Billy Drew, mate. The victor of the second duel is Henry of Skeletons. As victor in this round, he shall proceed to the next. So you really need to do, especially when you're fighting just one person. It's obviously a, a lot. Like this is a tournament, obviously, but I mean, see when you're just fighting a random person and it's like around the place, it's easy just to bully them. But it's obviously a bit more trickier when you've got like three or four of them. Then you can have some problems. Right, let's go, mate. Let me hear your war cry. Well, you ain't ready for this, mate. You ain't ready. Okay, then, maybe you're ready. So get in that corner. Just you wait, just you wait. Okay then, I see you've got moves. You think you're tough, mate. You really do think you're tough, don't you, mate? Sit yourself down, soldier. Alright then, you're doing my own move. Oh, Jesus Christ, time out, time out. I said time out. Time out. Time out, time out. Jesus Christ, lad. Right, that's it. Big boy pants on now. Just gonna be I do not appreciate that, mate. Uh, excuse me, mate. What do you, what do you think you are, mate? You ain't tough, mate. I swear, you ain't tough. I bullied more bigger people than you. Oh, I'm bleeding. Come on, Henry. Put your big boy pants on. Right, no. Right, that's it. You're done, mate. Just you give me a minute. Right, give me a wee minute. Oh. Just give me a minute. I'm ready. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Time out. Time out. What did you just call me there? Did you call me a cunt? Right, that's it. I'm going to bully you. See you next time, mate. If I don't beat you this time, I'm definitely... Why are you no clobbering them, man, over the head with that? Henry, what are you doing, mate? You're not even fighting them. Clobber them over the fucking head, mate. Right, that's it. You won this round. Next round's mine's. 
I'm taking your head off. That's it. Keep, keep uh, celebrating, mate, because it's the only one that you're gonna get. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Prepare yeah, I'm to ready. watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. Just barely on this time. Don't mess up, Henry. Don't mess up. I'm just spar kicking me. He's doing my own move on me, man. I do not appreciate that. Shut up, mate. I nearly had him there too. You're no tough, mate. He just backhanded me there. Hit me with the hairy side of his hand. I told you, I told you you weren't getting it that time. Sir Hanish, by whose good grace this tourney is convened, selects the weapons for the third decisive duel. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. Let's go, brother. Ready when you are. Bugger. My turn. Oh, you think you are tough? Just give me a wee second. Let me get my breath. Time out. Time out. Again. That drew blood too. Oh, he's drew blood on me. Jesus Christ. Okay, mate, calm down. It's only a show, mate. We're only putting on a show for these guys. On you, mate. The victor of this round is Henry of Scalitz. Having proved his combat skills in this round and emerged victorious, he shall proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay. Right, let's go, War Chief. The first I've got you, mate. Man at arms of Sir Hanush of Lipa. And his adversary will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Ratzig Kabla. Let us wish the combatants luck. I don't need to luck, mate. I'm good. Right, let's and go then. Let's go. Strip to the Combat waist and fight like men. With war hammers and shields. Oh, 
Oh Jesus Christ mate, you, you think you're tough mate. Just you wait until I get you in that corner. Oh you're lucky, you are lucky mate. Just you wait until I get you back in a wee corner there. Stay there. Sit, soldier. No, you didn't want that smoke. Change weapons for the second bout. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. Let's go, brother. Ah, that's that's what I thought. You are lucky. See that movement there? I wish they changed that. It's so clunky in the game. Calm yourself down, time out, time out. Time out. Right, let's go. Just put him in the corner. I think I'm fighting him next. He is Henry of Scalics. Lords and ladies, good men and good wives, you have just witnessed the final duel in today's Ratai Tournay, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hannah. I only had 55% health or uh, energy. Man at arms in the company of Sir Radzik Kobila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. That's how good is he? Give me my money. Give me money? What's that? Or I felt something pushing me there. Might have been mutt. You put on a hell of a show, Henry. Here's your hard-earned reward. Thank you, Sir Hannes. God be with you. And I, w I hope they do more stuff like this, but in different areas, like different kingdoms and stuff like that too. And Kingdom Come too. Yeah. Come on, let me buy. I need to speak to Sir Hannes. Or oh, sorry, what's his name? Let's get up here. Aye, but like I said, uh, on the 18th, when we're going to hear some news about Kingdom Come 2, I'm going to do the live stream of the event that they're going to have too. So if you're all want to see that too, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications so you know when I'm going to go live when they announce Kingdom Come 2. I think they'll do a trailer first and then Summer Game Fest starts next month, I'm sure. So they'll end up maybe showing some gameplay at Summer Game Fest or the PlayStation Showcase. That we're having in May. Hey, why did I stop here? What's going on? Are you trying to jump me? What's going on? Oh, 
Wait, anywho. Moving on. Yeah. I don't know why it stopped me right here, by the way, but... Yeah, but especially with the horse, I mentioned that I want it... I would like it to do third person as well. But still keep first person. And this, this needs to go. She trying to get through the bushes and stuff like that. That is just absolute hell, by the way. Like this right here, exam for example there. That was trying to get over that wee tiny bush, man. There's a camp down there. I've just seen the lights. Unless it was Townburg. But I, I mentioned third person there. Mostly because of the... When you're on the horse. It'd be better first person, eh, uh, third person. Dad, I mean, Sir Roger the Sick. Greetings, Henry. I hear you on the Rat Eye Tourney. Well done, lad. Two times, two times. I'm two time champ, mate. Double champ right here. I've returned from Merhoyed, sir. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. How you doing, mate? I appreciate you joining the live stream. Yeah, I'm doing good, mate. Thank you for asking. How are you, mate? <coughs> and we're getting Kingdom Come 2 news on the 18th of April. So next week, we're going to be getting a trailer or gameplay of the second game of this, mate. It got announced on uh, Twitter. <coughs> I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our... Uh, well, yeah, I've been talking about this game quite a lot um, for the second game. Don't go yet. And um, I cannot wait for it. The second game is going to be absolutely insane, by the way. But I, I do think it's going to be like in a new location. I don't think it's going to be Henry, the person, the character, who we are. I think it's going to be a new set and a new character. At least not without beatings and torture. But I. And that doesn't always work. I hopefully it comes out this year. You're a godsend, lad. They have been um, Thank you, sir. working on the game since 2018. Then we'll deal with them. So yes, sir. that's been a good few years now. What, four years now. Something like that, I'm shit with mass. Yeah, I'm pure dumbass when it comes to that stuff, but aye. They've had a good few years to work Sometimes on the game, so surely it's finished and they're ready to put it out. So I'm hoping for the end of this year that it comes out. We might even get it sooner, to be honest. I'm no theologian, but long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. True relations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. You can rely on me, sir. He's got Henry running around like a headless chicken. Aye, good luck, son. Aye. I don't know if any of you have actually played this game. But what a story to the game, by the way. This game has got a brilliant story. Right. Talk to him again. Greetings. What do you need? Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. 
I think I've got a theory about Goodwin. I think he was a Knight Templar. See, the Knight's Templar. He really remembers me of that, by the way. Right, we need to sleep too. Can we sleep in here? But, aye, there's a lot of things that I would like them to add into the game, like wild, more wild animals, wolves, bears, stuff like that. It obviously depends on the setting, like where they're going to base it, say if it's, somebody's just woke me up. Why do you wake me up? You little asshole, you just woke me up. That's okay. We'll get something to eat. And see, another good thing about this game, by the way. See if, like, uh, you can poison a full town. Look, I'll show you. You can drop poison into it. Into these food pots. And see if, like, the people don't see you do it. You can literally just sit by and watch all of them get sick. Then die in the game. And you can do it, like, with uh, bandit camps like humans because the humans were the, the bad guys in this game um, there's so many ways you can go about doing stuff in this game right, where do we need to go here right we're just gonna head up we'll not fast travel yeah Oh, wait, there, there's a camp right here too. Who's this? Or have we dealt with these guys already? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? We've got a camp right there. Why do you ask? Can I not take a walk in the woods without being accosted? I ask because I'm the gamekeeper here and it's my job to protect these woods from poachers. Well, I'm right, I'm not a poacher, mate. In that case, you won't mind if I have a look what you've got on you. Now, you're not checking my pockets, pal. No chance. Not a chance. You're not going to rummage around in my things. I like that. to be finger wave. To me. You'll come with me to the jailhouse. Mate, you absolutely got battered, by the way. Right, no, we're putting up resistance. Because I ain't been poaching anyway. You'll make nobody, mate. Exactly. Exactly, Henry. I like that attitude. Do you know I've got an army right there, pal? Get the dog on him, get the dog on him. Sick him, boy. Get him. Get him, dog. Get him. See, there was no need in violence, mate. You took it there. You took it to that level, pal. Now look at you. Move it to horse, move that. We've got ten of these, man. We only need one. The horse can't carry any more stuff. Great. I just drop that. Nah, keep it there now. There's no need in violence, mate. Look at you now. Lovely. Give it to the dog, in fact. We'll feed the dog. Where are you, dog? So in this game, too, you need to level up your dog by, like, praising him, no, giving him food. Then he'll, you'll get, You're like, lovely. stats for him so you can level up. And then he's able to attack, hunt, stuff like that. Right, moving on. Thank you everybody for being here, I really appreciate it. If you're all looking forward to Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications. We, we're going to be live streaming the event on the 28th, uh, sorry, the 18th of April. So next week, I'll be live streaming the event that they're going to do, so if you want to see that, make sure to turn on all notifications uh, and then you'll, you'll know when we go live with it. 
but I'm going to complete this, finish this game this weekend. And um, I do lots of different games here. I do old games on the PlayStation 2. I've got a PS1 there as well. well the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 3 plays PS1 games. I can do any PlayStation game here. So if you can th think of like old games, I've got like The Simpsons Hit and Run there. I've got Haunting Ground for the PS2. I've got some of the Resident Evil games like... Oh, wait, I'm going to break my legs. Uh, Resident Evil 3, the original, the PlayStation 1 game. I've got Outbreak File 1, Resident Evil game for the PlayStation 2. I've got Scarface, the video game there, for the PlayStation 2 too. I, I've got lots of old games here that are live stream, eh? So, and if you can think of any old games that you would like to see, dog, get it! Get it! Oh, you're done for here. You're done. Mutt's getting you. Get it, Mutt. Get it! That's it, son. Right, he's barking. He's growling. I thought there was maybe going to be somebody here. Where are you, pebbles? Yeah. I know this might be a bit biased, though. I've said it already. But I hope the second game is based in medieval Scotland. Because they've got, this game does, uh, it puts some real areas from real life in the game. And you can go to the places and see them, what it's like nowadays. And Scotland's got a lot of castles that they could use in the game. Yeah. I'd love to see it. And I'll, some some of like the history of Scotland, right, Good somebody's, God, somebody's been ambushed. I thought this was going to be for us here. Right, we're not able to pick a look at that. Um, yeah, it's a bloody mess. So, someone was wounded here. It looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some tracks. I'm off. This way. Have I got my shield? No, there we go. Right, footsteps. It looks like blood. Another clue. I must be going the right way. Get ready for warm up. Right, this seems like a, a charcoal place. Mm. Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard something. Ah, you must have seen something, mate. Spill the beans. Tell me all. I'm honoured that you should come to me. What happened at the crossroads? What? I'm a friend of his. Who? That fellow you brought here. I need to find him. I have to help him. I owe it to him, you see. I don't know nothing and I haven't seen him. If you want to know something about it... Eh, uh, I'm not lying, pal. You. If you've got Twitter, mate... To do with it. It's all over Twitter. So didn't come to me and sit and try and tell me I'm lying, mate. When you don't know the facts. Alright? Simmer your wee self down. Don't you get your see? knickers on a twist. You can check on online right now, guarantee you, 18th of you. April, that's when we get news. May the Lord watch over you. Right, who else am I needing to talk to? Do you ever play the Warriors though? I see your name mate, and uh, I've got the Warriors. For the PlayStation 2 there as well. 
I don't know how to do emulating much unless it's on my mobile phone. It's the only time I'll be able, like I'm able to do it, mate. Eh? Uh, but I, I've got the PC there too, because I usually hook up the PlayStation 2 to the capture card to the PC. But I don't know much about emulating. But I've been waiting a long time for the second game as well. It's one of my best games, this. Who else? We need to talk to somebody else. Right, there's blood stain right there too. Just follow it. It looks like blood. It's been a while since I played this game though. Such a good game, man. Right, so he's the only one here. Right, it's going that way. Anyway, let's just follow it. There's blood there too. I don't think it's going this way. Aye, it's back up here because that bee, aye, that bee's back now. Aye, but see the best thing to do though for everybody, if you just want to hear about games and just anything in general by the way, Twitter is the place to be. Tom Henderson, he's a well-known leaker. Um, in fact, it's not even a leak to be honest, it was, I, um, I'm sure Warhorse Studios actually came out themselves and said that they're dropping the news Who is this boy, yeah? um, of boy, their new game. On the 28th, sorry, on the 18th. Sorry, what did he say? I was talking there. Who is Fucking, my bad, my bad, everybody. Boyard cracks the whip around here. You're His red cap. Is... Thank you. Right. Good luck to you. Right, where's the red cap guy? Where are you? Because I've only seen one person here. Therefore, no den here. Nope. Punch the chicken. That's it. Take it for dog. Wait, where is this guy then? Because I only see this one dude. Alright, wait, up here. I knew that. I was just testing you all. I wanted to see if you all know where I was meant to go. I got fucking up in there, that. Come on, Henry. I, the controls can be a bit outdated in this game. But it's brilliant though, still. I love this game, man. And for new people that want to play this game, I will say to you all, you're gonna you're going to rage quit a good few times. But if you stick to it, honestly it's worth it man, because the game is incredible. The story is brilliant in it too. It's not you. Where's Red Cap? Red Cap, where are you? We'll talk to this little guy first. I hope I can be of help to you, knight. Who is this Borea? Borea cracks the whip around here. You're, You're just telling me the exact same thing. thing. Yeah, thank you. Looks like he needs a cap. That bald head, man. Shave it off, mate. Knock, knock. Right, where are you, guy? Is there somebody at the back there? No, it's a stump. I've actually not got a clue where this guy is, man. Are you fucking in there? Are you hiding in there, mate? Can't see him.
Oh, there he is. I've been looking all over for you. God be with you. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Really? Oh, you know, mate, you yes. know. Don't start that nonsense with me. You're what passes for bristle and gristle round here, are you? Possibly. So listen to me, you hero. If you don't want me to wipe that crooked grin off your face, you'll start talking. Got it? Yeah, right. Because everyone knows charcoal burners are thieves. Aye, he knows. He knows the well, scrap team. Let me tell you, that's not at all what happened. I'll be glad to hear I you love that, know. honestly. They be finger waving a bit. We, we finger waving. Ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads then? We were just passing, and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, the fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Do you know who ambushed that wagon? Not a we need to get our armor and stuff like that fixed. Did he tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. Where is he? We've locked him away, in the shed. There! I oh, that shed that I couldn't get in? I don't know. He paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. We've been through that already. All right, all right. That's Just it. Calm down. You know your place. Here. Take the key. Thanks. Farewell. He knows the script, team. He doesn't want any of that smoke. He knows what Henry is. Henry's an animal. Spot a kick. I've been wanting a word with you. Do as I say, and you might walk out of here alive. What? What's that? What do you mean? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I might even help you. Well, if you say so. Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. And where's this men heart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. And where did he go? It's going to be I that prick know. from the start. I got a the baldy guy. I don't know his him. name though. We still haven't found out his name. You know what you were carrying in that wagon? <coughs> I never asked men heart that. <coughs> Tell me more about the night. Thank you everybody for being here and welcome to everybody who's new. We do lots of different content here. Old games from the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, all the way up to PS5. He just got dropped like a sack of potatoes, man. Red caps down. Right, I'll set a belt him then. I've got him. Is that all? Did you take anything else? Right, I'm on you, mustache guy. Stop right there. That's it, mustache guy. Me and you go to town. Let's go. Oh, you're running? Oh, what a wuss. What a wuss, man. Come here. What way did he go? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. You needed to run through this way, don't you? Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I see you. Get him. Sit him Get him, son. Oh, we're gonna get you. 
We're getting you. Pebbles. Get them. Oh, I'm on you now. I'm on you now. Oh, I try. Why are you getting off the horse, man? Get back on that horse. Yeah. Fucking idiot. We nearly had him there too. And then Henry just decides yeah. to get off the horse. We can't lose him. I see you. I see you, pal. I don't know if he just follow him. I can't remember. Get off your horse and fight me like a man. Get him. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm so fucking come here, you. You want to fight now, huh? Is he running? Let's go then. Spot a punch. Well, <coughs> that was easy. It seems I have finally met my match. I want to know everything. Who you are, why you're here, and what you know about the ambushed wagon. You may call me Ulrich. I will tell you nothing more until you give me some assurances. I can't assure assurances. you anything. How about this? If you talk, I'll spare you. Do you expect me to believe that? I know full well how these stories end. I... I have been at the other end of the sword more times than you can count. I give you my word. <laughs> the word of the... He might, but I don't... Jesus. It is true what the preachers say. This world has gone quite mad. You had better kill me. I'm finished, anyway. Just as you are. Unlike you, I'm not a criminal. You believe that the forging of money is an honest trade? I've got nothing to do with that. I'm not a forger, finger I'm wave again. <laughs> what? What are you saying? I'm in the service of Sir Radzig Kobola, Governor of Scalitz and Royal Hetman. Then we have something in common. I also am here under orders from above. From who? Perhaps you might sheet that weapon so that we may talk eye to eye. If we do indeed have a common cause. Get up. I don't know who you are, but I want to know. It is true our meeting has not begun well. But if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila. I'm sure I then killed him the last time. time. What do you mean? Who do you work for? I found out many things, but there are still questions I cannot answer. You, you better answer them. Who knew anything is now dead. What man was that? Mainhart, the merchant from Passau. Listen, I will explain everything to you, but first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? You will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you everything I've learned. Who do you mean? Master Tobias Feifa. If you truly serve Sir Radzik, then you must know him. I think I know who you mean. What do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Pfeiffer, however... will definitely be able to make sense of it. And you'll give it to me, just like that. It seems I have little choice. 
This is the last lead I have. In the meantime, I will return to Sasso and see what I might learn there. What's your name, anyway? I told you, I am Ulrich. Just Ulrich? It is enough. Something dodgy about this guy. They seldom have just one name. It is true, I have a horse, armor, a sword, and a shield. But there are many ways to acquire such things these days. As I am sure you know. So you're not a knight? I am a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all you need to know. No, you tell me everything. I've just spared your life, mate. I didn't need to do that shit. We could get more out of him, Henry. What are you talking about? I'll make him squeal, mate. I'd like to know more, but I have a feeling you won't tell me. Your feeling is correct. And what about that wagon? What happened there, exactly? I followed Menhard from Passau. I had reason to suspect a connection with Sassau. What do you mean about the connection with Sassau? The matter was investigated in Passau, and the executioner extracted information from those who were arrested. They told him that the coins were made in a monastery. What, in the monastery itself? I cannot say. I know only what the Passo scribe wrote down in his reports of the interrogations. So they were transporting false Groschen on that wagon? Yes. On their way here, they brought real coin. Groschen, forints, francs and the like. But now, the sacks were full of counterfeits. Why did you let them get here before attacking? I wanted to discover where they hand over their coins, which I failed to do. Besides, Mainhard had an armed escort, and they kept two busy roads and lodged at inns throughout their journey. Until he came to this godforsaken trek. I cannot guess why he came here, but it was the perfect opportunity to strike. Who are you working for? I understand why you wish to know. But this does not mean I am at liberty to tell you. Mate, I just saved, I just literally saved your life. I could have ended you there. You better start talking. That sounds a bit fishy. It is simply that my master does not wish to be revealed. And if we are to help one another, that is how it must remain. Shouldn't you go with me to see Feyfar? No. I must remain in Sasso. I have some uh, loose ends that must be tied. I should have killed you, mate. I've got a feeling I should have killed him again. I did see the first time I played this game. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoners Inn. So I never really got this part. Could just kill him now too, but I want to see what this story heads into. Don't know if I trust this guy to be honest. Where I'm on, I am on. <clears throat> oh, come on.
See another thing that I would really want in this game. You do have like certain things where like you get consequences and stuff like that for doing certain things, but I hope they like do more on that. Like add more to it, and where it can affect the story, the actual story of the game. Dad, Dad, don't walk away from me. Dad, Sir Radzik. God bless you. What troubles you? Good luck to you. Is it you? Aye. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzik sides with the king. Master Fafar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. Could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. I asked him who his liege was, but he refused to tell me. We live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names, hide their emblems, and sneak around the land like thieves. I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his masters are odds with Sir Radzik. That may well be. As a staunch supporter of the king, Sir Radzik has many enemies. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they proved he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau, and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, mm -hmm. interrogation held this day, mm -hmm. put to pain by the quester. Mm -hmm. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich <laughs> to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Paso Alderman. But they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's a Clement of Caplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. Do you think I should have just took him out? silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amalgam what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver in silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. Take care now. Take care now. Bye bye then.
talking about. In fact, we need to sell some stuff. Have I not got something in here? Aye, we've got lots in here, in fact. Well, I say lots. Yeah. Right, we're going to go down to the miller first, sell a few things, just fast travel. Something here, nice one. <coughs> Just sell it all to him. Come here, you. God save you. What am I oh, doing? wrong one. Not that I that. Wrong one. There we go. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Good luck, then. We don't need the hunting arrows. We've got the dog and does all the hunting we need. Keep the charcoal. Never know when we need it. We're going to need to do another wee tri trip to Scarlet's so we can get more stuff to sell because we need every penny we can get in this game. Oh no, don't sell them. Right, I'm sure one of the rings was that person so I'm not going to... Sell them, I'll keep them. Keep them. Right, that's us. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Agree? That's better. Drop it a bit more and we'll call it a deal. Aye, that would do it. Right, moving on. Right, it's starting to get a bit tired now. Right, so it was up here. Yeah. 
You call that a bridge? You really call that a bridge, man? Come on, behave yourself. Come on, dog. Can I get over it because of that fucking bush, man? Right, just walk it. Jesus Christ. Hellishly deep here. It's only up to your waist. Man up. Do you know what? In fact, just fast travel up here. I'm not having it. I'm not having it, team. Fast travel. See, mu music in this game too is perfect, man, for this. Like for a medieval kind of game. Especially when you're in the, like the big towns as well. So you? Aye. So, what did Master Pfeiffer have to say? I consulted him and we definitely have a starting point. Tell me more. Master Feyfar found out they need copper sheets for the core of the coins and quicksilver for the alma... alma... Uh, uh, the other part? I see. They have such materials at the monastery. Exactly. That's why I'm interested in the local forges. Yes, that is good. Yesterday, I heard people from the craftsman's yard by the monastery complaining. They said they could not like sleep at night. Because the blacksmith works all the time till dawn. I see. That's certainly worth asking about. Have you heard anything else? You said they use quicksilver. There is a painter lodging here who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. He said that he went to the monastery for quicksilver and it was all gone. Well, that's something to follow up as well. Thanks. Right. We might need to actually just get a wee sleep. See if I can buy a room for a for a night. No. Nope. Get something to eat. Who owns this place? You? In fact, you. Can I talk to you? Excuse me. Excuse me. Jesus Christ be praised. Bloody quicksand. How may I serve you? Can I sleep here? Hi, there's room here. For how long? Just one night. Just the one night? No problem. But you pay in advance. Hmm, that's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? Is this enough? That's a poor offer. Oh, come on. Right, meet me halfway, man. Come on. Satisfied? That's not enough. Jesus, come on, women. You're robbing me here. <laughs> You've got it all to yourself. No one will deceive you. Better not for that price. That music, man, for this kind of game, uh, is good, like. I don't know what room's mine, so is it this?
Okay, let's grab your munch and then we'll head out. Right, moving on. Pebbles. There you are. Dog, where are you, mutt? To heal, mutt. Not that way. Yeah. Come on, horse. Jump over that shit, man. I know you can do it. Come on, horse. There we go. I knew that was going to happen there too, it was going to get stuck in the bush. Right, so he's in here. I didn't know that, I thought he was... ...somewhere else. Never mind. Right, he must be in one of the rooms. Sparta kick the door open. Wakey wakey mate. God be with you, good sir. I hear you've had some problems with the supply of Quicksilver. Problems? I should say so. For the third time this month they've told me they've none. There's no Quicksilver to be had, they said. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, or his assistant, more like. So what did the overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently he doesn't deal in such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red paint, there's a different reason why they haven't got the Quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carrying it was ambushed. Then it went astray somewhere. And you think they're lying? Jesus, what do I know? But it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row the same thing goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. How you doing, brother? I appreciate you coming back to the stream, man. What do you need, quick, How have you been? Are you keeping I okay, know. mate? They do. They mix up the red pigment for me. I'm tight to the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. We're getting a second one of this game as well, mate. It got announced today That's on it, to Twitter, ah. and then Tom well, Henderson, who is a well-known leaker play game? for games. I really need some money. I've been what we're going to play, and he he was talking about it today. Nah, I don't play dice. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for it now. Well, Master Painter. Are you Wait still there. short of coin? Yes, unfortunately. And my offer still stands. I don't want to play don't dice for you, mate, but I want... Or throw a few dice? I might buy something off you. What you got? Show me what you have to offer. Good luck to you. Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. All right, so. I was nobody streaming, bro, no. But eh, uh, I mate, it's good to keep busy though. To be honest, because it bring like the day goes on quicker. So, have you got All much right, planned so. for over the weekend, mate? Are you doing much over the weekend? Have you got plans with friends or family? Right, so where do I go now? Up, back up here. Ah, it must be. But wait there, what's... That's still here. Now I need to talk to other people, I think. Let's try and pick lock this. There we go. What 
you got for me. Take it all. Whose horse was this? Oh, that's the guy who we nearly barred to death. Oh, that's cool, mate. That's cool. So when is that? This weekend? You are going. See, we never had anything like that when I was at school. Or even in, like, today's day and age, I'm sure they don't do it here. But I love that, man. That would have been cool to do it at school. Like the military class. So it's tomorrow, mate. Is it uh, over for all the weekend? Are you away for, or is it just one one night? You are away for. Wait, I went by that. I think it might be up here. If not, it's in the one below us. Get up. So it must be the one downstairs. That wild, eh, hey, that wind is wild, man, here. Can hear it and that's me with my headset on. Alright, pig. Is it in here? No, I don't see it being in here. In fact, talk to him if we can. No. So it must be the guys upstairs, but there's just no one to wake up right now. Could poison this full time. Done it before, in fact. Hats off to anybody who does that, by the way. I couldn't do that, being that high up in the sky, man. No even, maybe. I would shite my pants. My arse would be literally caked in shite if I did that. Hats off to any of you who do do that, like, because it wouldn't be me, like, no chance. No even, maybe. I'm looking for some Quicksilver. Would you have any on hand? Call to my assistant. He deals with such trivial matters. Fine, thank you. Who did he say? Talk to Master Who? Right, it's not this guy anyway. He's still giving it big sets. I am not a big fan of uh, roller coasters or anything that like that, man. Hey, I can't. I'm a I'm a big scared to cat when it comes to stuff like that. I'm a big shite back. Hates put the fear of God in me, man. Call to my assistant. He deals with such trivial matters. Right, so your assistant, right? So it's the guy sleeping still. Farewell. Wake him up. Give him a quick kick right to the side. Wake up, you. Because it's morning, mate. You need to get up. We need to talk. Just robbed him. Move them no, to the horse.
with that. Sure, we've got actually quite a lot of stolen stuff here. Moving them into the horse because then sometimes it asks to check your pockets. And then if you've got stolen stuff, then that's it. Off to jail where you need to pay money. Right, I think that's us. Aye, we're good. Aye, we're good. Moving on. In fact, we need time to wake up. Oh, there you are. It's about time you woke up there, mate. Good health to you. Do you have any quicksilver in stock? Who's asking? Nobody. I'm just asking. Then I don't have any. That sounds almost as if you don't want to sell it to me. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I can't. Aye, that would be horrific, mate. Really would be that, sir. Bollocks. Tell me this instant. Bollocks. <laughs> Nothing. Hey. And Aye, I couldn't I do it, man. You to calm down. We're on hallowed ground. You're a fine one to speak of hallowed ground. A lying thief in monastic robes. What next? A whore dressed as a nun? This My wee nephew does it. I'll he goes on all the big roller coasters and that. See, when I'm seeing him at, at it, man, it makes me so paranoid. Because you hear all these stories about them all, like the roller coasters um, breaking or people getting stuck, and uh, that's just. No, I can't chance that. For your sake, I hope that it's not even the speed really what gets me, it's it's the height. I I, I and um like that, that fact that I was saying, like how uh, some of them break down and you hear all these different stories of people getting hurt on roller coasters and the I, on his rounds. I I'm not a gambler. <laughs> I don't gamble my life. Without a crest. Armed. He called himself Sir Yezek, and he had a lackey with him called Rapporter. Scruffy fellow with a yellow cape. Always whistling he was. They told me they wanted all the quicksilver we order for the monastery. I, I, told him I see a lot possible. of people fainting, no, like passing him? out as well, like they you were saying the there. Uh, they tried to bribe they just pray to God that you don't refused, pass out, basically. Threatening. You see it all the time, man. How did you hand it over to them? I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. There's a big tree there with a small chapel underneath. Sometimes Rapporta is there waiting for me. If not, I leave it there. What did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery. That they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing? I mean, before then? You know how it is. I... Work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. So they knew about you? Yes, they knew my name, everything. Very well, thank you. Take care now. Um, have you been to... <clears throat> have you, I know you're... Um, in fact, have you ever been to like the big roller coasters and... Uh, What's it called again? My nephew's been a lot of times. That big place in Florida, is it uh, Orlando's? Or is it... I don't think it's a Disneyland, is it, in Florida? Ah, in fact, it is Dis Disneyland, is it not? That's in Florida. Some big massive rides there, like, uh, my nephew has been to uh, America a good few times. What do I have to do to enter the monastery? You have to know how to read and write, speak Latin, and have a letter of admission from the abbot. But most importantly, your soul must be filled with Christian fervour, and you must be willing to lay down your... I, I agree with you too, mate. It's admission. the heights that Great. gets me, man, and I, I'm least pretty least sure humans aren't meant to be up that high. I like, problem will be your lack of zeal. I like to be grounded, mate. Anyway. Feet no, on the ground. Are you capable of spending your days in quiet meditation and prayer? To I've never Lord, actually been on a plane before either. Flesh, I reckon I'd be a bit scared with that. The service of God? Right, how do I get away here? Hmm. 
Right, we need to talk to... Go up here, maybe. Right, I do that, but I want to check what this is down here. Right, I'll go and do that after I do that one at C. In fact, I'm going to mark that. Get in my way. Alright, alright, horse. Right, let's head out. So what time are you leaving tomorrow, mate? Are you going on the trip with the military uh, class? Alright, how do I get out of here again? It's yeah. back down this way. Eh, hey, I'm sure of Am I being stupid? I thought there was a way out of here, up this way. Yeah. Must not be. Take it we'll go the long way then. To me ma Wanna hear him say it? Hey, to me. To hey, oh, Mutt. Oh come on. Say it, Henry. Hey. There we go. To me. Got shit ready. Just in case we need to bar a few heads. You, I want to talk to you, mate. Come here. Do you mean business? Is that a bandit? Why are you just sitting around? Why not? Admiring the view? People just do not appreciate a lot of Yeah, I've seen uh, people talking about that on Twitter, mate. Uh, people that stay up in the Florida area. Uh, up in the south, we're talking about a tornado was uh, coming their way. So I just just be careful, mate. And hopefully that your trip thing doesn't get cancelled, mate. Because of the weather. Hopefully uh, no, like nothing severe happens, like the weather-wise. And uh, you're able to go to this, mate. But I have seen a few people talking about that, mate. And see when you guys have, like... Tornadoes or hurricanes or stuff like that too. It comes over our way as well, but we don't get like we don't get it bad. We don't get like the tornadoes or hurricanes. We just get the wind from you, like when you are having a big storm or something like that. Really high winds. It comes over the Atlantic Ocean. I'm sure it is that Atlantic, and into the UK, and it hammers us, man. Does the name Rapporteur ring any bells for you? Rapporteur, you say? Rapporteur. Eight thirty is that when you start heading out, mate? Hmm. No. See over here, I've we say half, half eight. See when it's like three eight, 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 like eight thirty, we'll say half eight. Admiring the view, my arse. If you ever want to see another view again, I suggest you answer my question. I've been more impressively threatened by my sister's baby. He's Fuck. Scottish. Look, you little jester. I'm investigating the crime against the king on the direct orders of Saradzik. Are you really going to keep pretending you don't know anything? Hang on. What's all this about a crime against the king? I'm just keeping an eye on things. When a wagon comes in, I make sure nobody robs it. I get a commission for that, that's it! See? That didn't hurt a bit. Where's Rapata? I don't know. He's been staying in town lately. He hardly ever shows up here. It seems he's keeping an eye on someone there. I don't know who. <clears throat> who comes to fetch them? I don't know. Some people. They don't speak. Uh, uh, I'm not too sure what you mean about your last know. message, mate. If you mean about everything that's happening in the world right now, if you get what I mean, I can't say too much because of YouTube. 
But I, I do know, I do know stuff like that. Thanks. Hope the scenery keeps you entertained. Can we not just bash his skull in? He's a bandit anyway, mate. Can we not just... We could, but I don't know if we should. We could easily take them, but... Let's go. Let's just head out. We've got a few books we need to read as well. Hey, where's the horse? There you are, pebbles. We'll head down this one. Aye, so I'm going to be live streaming the the event what they're going to have for Kingdom Come to on the 18th of April. I honestly can't wait to see what they've came up with. I've got so much that I would like to be added into the game and changed. I do think they're going to do it in like Scotland, England, something like that. I don't think it's going to be in the same setting. It's going to be like medieval, somewhere in medieval Europe. I've got a good, I've got a feeling it might be France though. Just got that feeling, but you never know until the game's out, eh? Right, you up here. Spark. Alright then, okay. Maybe I won't be spark kicking it. Dog, get out of my way, man. Excuse me. Right, who am I wanting to talk to you? Greetings. What do you need? You look different, Master. So as to fit in. I don't want to know that I'm in town. Eh, uh, we we do, mate. Yeah, we we are the same. We do, mate. Um, I don't want to alarm our prey. Because Scotland's because still a part of the UK, mate. So we're in like an alliance thing. So what have you found where it's so like far? four countries united under one banner, as such. Scotland wasn't a lot of it wasn't by like we had no option as such, basically. I found out where they got um, the silver from. You were right. But yeah, we we're, we're on the same boat, mate. It was the only logical explanation. I can't really it's talk too much because the YouTube the doesn't like stuff I've like that. To have a look and it affects well, people's channels that speak about certain things you what are happening in the world right now. Someone called Rapata. But I not much. I start. At least it's not a common. We're seen as the West, like. I had another thought on the way here. With NATO, Those as well, we're all one alliance. Yes, of course. That's sophisticated work. There's a man I know who works at the monastery yard, master engraver Jerome of Silesia. You don't suppose that he's? No, not that. God forbid. I know him well. He never do anything like that. Look at his hair, man. He remembers me of Krusty the Clown. Very well, I'll ask him. But ask with tact. I don't want him getting offended. And I prefer you not to. He does look like Krusty the Clown, eh? That's all. Take care now. Take care now. Bye bye then. Right, moving on. Right, I've got us running around like a headless chicken here. Come on, guy, you can do that there. No problem, mate. You have a great time as well, man. That seems that sounds really fun, man. That uh, military uh, trip thing you're going on, mate. Sounds really good, mate. I like stuff like that, pal. Yeah. Uh, but I thank you again for joining the live stream. It's always good to have you here, mate. And yeah, have a great weekend, mate. I appreciate your time.
and take care, bro. I think he's in here. Sparrow kick it open. Ah, he's upstairs. Little rock rat. Where are you? I remember you. God be with you. How goes the work, Master? Getting there, getting there. You need something, my boy? What are you doing here, anyway? I thought it was just guy we need to talk to. You're in an shop, my boy. We're engraving. Uh, that's him. Uh, that's him. Yeah, but engraving what? And what's it used for? Oh, we engrave wood and stone as well as metal. Here in the monastery, it's mostly about decoration. You've got quite a large workshop, Master. You don't do all the work alone, surely? I'm usually here with my apprentice, Florian. Of course, by simple observation, you'll note that this is not currently the case, and I'm here alone. Which means that either I'm a liar or something out of the ordinary has occurred. Um, I see. I think. So what's happened to Florian? He shares the fate of the pharaohs, but today, the fifth scourge of Egypt did smite him. The plague. Or so his message advised me. Jesus Christ, the plague? Do remain calm. I'm quite certain the plague from which Florian is suffering wasn't a judgment from on high. Or if it was, it was a judgment on excessive drinking. I'm told such an ailment can be of truly biblical proportions. What's he like, your apprentice, Florian? I'm afraid that his exuberant youth has taken its toll. He's been acting strangely of late. Because he's guilty. Illusions of persecution. I don't really know what you mean, at all. Recently, for example, he told me that someone was following him. And the very next day he bought a padlock from the blacksmith and locked up his chest. As though I would ever sneak into it. In any case, why the interest? Are you looking for him? Something like that. He's May guilty. I ask why? <laughs> We're friends. He owes me money. <laughs> he owes me money. Naturally. Dice or boozing, was it? Pray do tell. Uh, both. Sodom and Gomorrah are too good for the boy. Here you go. I'll dock his wages. Ha, <laughs> you gave me money there. <laughs> oh, all right, maybe not. Aye, I'll go with it. But I'd still like to have a word with him. Ah, uh, I see you probably have some dispute still outstanding. That doesn't surprise me. About your question. You we just robbed him there. No doubt, feeble. We robbed him daily, all robbery there. In the baker's cellar. Ah. The baker's cellar. Does Florian have any enemies? A man such as he certainly owes money at every turn, and the parents of local girls are undoubtedly displeased with his attempts to propagate. However, most recently it was that fury from the baths who accosted him in quite a spectacular rage. A woman from the baths? What did she do? The harpy nearly tore all Florian's hair out. I don't frequently feel sorry for my ne'er-do-well apprentice, but on that occasion I made an exception. Do you have any idea why she did it? She was screaming about some girl, some flighty bathmaid, Esther. I would say that Florian had felt the joys of spring and acted accordingly. Although one would have thought they'd be used to that sort of thing at the bathhouse. Thank you. Right, we're we'll going to talk to her first then. The Lord watch over you. We'll talk to her first. If it gives us that option. Ah. Telling you, it's got us running around like a headless chicken here. I talk to her. Right, let's go to the bathhouse. We actually could be doomed with getting our stuff cleaned as well. In fact, just head out this way. Pebbles to me. Oh, come on, horse. <coughs> so 
tror jeg, det er bedre, at jeg klipper mig fra der. Jumper! Nej, så jeg har ikke læst med deres time horse. Til mig. Does not look happy. God save you. Good night. What do you need? I'd like to uh, order something here. So, what are you interested in? Proper bath, and my clothes need washing. As you wish. Do you have the coin? I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Not that much anyway. What do you say to this? That's a poor offer. Come on. Nine is the final I'm going to. Since it's you. <laughs> Since it's you. That's not enough. Are you absolutely kidding me on? Right, we've not got a deal with him. I'm sorry, but catch you later. I hear you're at odds with Apprentice Florian. At odds? Trying to I'll give you at odds. get every penny I've got. No, even maybe. Poor girl. I shudder to think what's become of her. What exactly happened? This man came in wanting a bath, and Esther with it. She doesn't normally offer that kind of service, but I didn't see the harm, so I sent her in to him. And suddenly I hear screams. So I run out, and I see the bastard pulling her out of the tent and shoving her into a boat. I'm sorry they took her, but what exactly has it got to do with Florian? They shouted at me to tell Florian that when he wises up, he'll get the girl back. I assume that Florian knows this, Esther. You know, village girls. They don't get much of a choice. Every other knave has a turnip for a brain. And if they don't, they're relatives. And then some young dandy turns up who writes her little poems. What's the poor girl to do? And this is how it ends. She should have stuck with the turnip heads. Where can I find this Florian? I'd like to ask him a few questions. He works in the engraver's workshop at the Monastery Craftsman's Yard. And if he's not there, he'll be holed up like the rat he is in the cellar he rents from the baker. He's afraid of me, for sure. What did the bailiff make of it? Don't even get me started on that. He's another fine... I won't say what. I told him everything, but he says he won't do nothing about it. How's that then? He wouldn't tell me to my face, of course. But people here don't think much of us. There's some as reckon my Esther deserves what she got. Poor girl. It sounds like you were close to Esther. I loved her like my very own. She came to me as an orphan, like a wolf child she was. I raised her and taught her and gave her a job, and now she's gone. Who knows if she's even alive? Good luck, we'll get her back for you. Even though you wouldn't come to a reasonable price for the wash my clothes, but I'll let that slide. Right, hold on a minute. In fact, everybody, give me, give me a little second, everybody. I appreciate your time. I'm just gonna go and grab a quick drink from downstairs. Close my window a little bit. Uh, it's closed, but it's not shut over right here, so I don't know if you can hear that wind, but it's howling, man. Right, give me a second, everybody. I appreciate your time. I hope you're all enjoying the content. Make sure to leave a wee like and subscribe if you're new. And if you're looking forward to Kingdom Come 2, I'll be live streaming the event on uh, April the 18th next week. Thank you again for your time. Bear with me, everybody. Cheers.
Oh, it's me back everybody, thank you all for your patience. Let's get back into it. Right, so we're heading... Why are we heading here again? I forgot. Right, aye. Oh, getting off the horse now. Right, let's head out. Is it you? Are you Rapporteur by any chance? Pardon me? Do we know each other? No, but I'm hoping to change that. Uh, um, well, I, I don't have much time right now. I'd best be off. No, Let me take a you'll moment. talk. Um, all right then. What do you want? I know you buy Quicksilver for those counterfeiters. Ah. Uh, by the way, everybody, if I go quiet a little bit, I as well too. I'm, I'll be eating. Of course, of course. But I will start talking after the first. That will be the best solution. Some deep, but obviously I'm going to still be playing while I'm eating. Uh, let's leave it for another time. But I hope you're all enjoying the content. Oh, stop him. Right. I'll get you. I'm gonna get you. I'll get you. Oh, he's got some stanima on him, like. He can run for days. Mate, don't make... Get him, dog. Oh, we're gonna get you. Horse. Dog. Both of you, where are you? I'll come and see you in a second, boys. We need to catch with this little turd. Sit, dog, get him. Start talking. So, are you ready to talk? I will. I will. Just don't hurt me, please. What do you want from me? Tell me where the workshop is. Don't worry. Your master won't be punishing you for betraying him. You're both going to have too many other problems. It's in the Scullet's mines. That doesn't narrow it down very much. On the eastern side of Scullet's Hill, there's an abandoned mine gallery. Well, it used to be abandoned. Now there's a small camp in front of it, and the workshop is inside. Who is your lord? Sir Yezhek of Ronoff. That's what he calls himself, although Ronoff Castle's long gone. What happened to it? Ronoff used to belong to Vincent, Count Lichtenberg. After his death, it fell to Margrave Jobst, and he had it pulled down. He knew full well that Vincent's vassals would resist him. Why? Everyone knows that when a lord dies without issue, the king can confer his estate on whoever he pleases. But Vincent had descendants. Ronoff only fell to the Margrave because he declared them all illegitimate. All because Vincent had refused to fight for him against Sir Prokop. Sir Yezhek led a revolt of the vassals, but Yob surrounded them all up. Only Sir Yezhek got away. Since then, he's become the scourge of the domain. Who are you, anyway? They call me Rapota. I used to be the executioner's henchman in Brno. And how did you come to be serving Sir Yezhek? I helped him escape from prison. If I was going to serve anyone, better Sir Yezhek than the executioner. So you saw being a brigand's henchman as a step up in the world? I thought if things changed and he stopped marauding, he might get run off back and take me into his service. Well, after this little escapade, you can forget about that. You'll be lucky if you don't end up swinging on the gallows. It's all the same anyway now. I've betrayed him. So who's Sir Yeshek working for? Don't tell me he just took it into his head one day to start forging coins. 
That's not for me to know. Sir Yezhek was on speaking terms with various lordships. Such as? We were often guests at the monastery, but I slept in the hayloft, so I heard nothing. And apart from that? In the camp, you'd occasionally see a Hungarian nobleman, but I don't know what he was doing there, or who he is. I think I've heard enough. Can I ask you something? Yes. I don't want to hang. It's a horrible death. I prefer you just kill me here and now. An honourable death? No chance. It's the dungeons for you, and the sort of punishment a counterfeiter deserves. Don't worry. In time, you'll be glad of the gallows. Yeah. To heal, Mutt. How'd you get so fucked up? I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. Oh, why? Well, it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Agree? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Agreed. Now listen up. <laughs> Greetings. I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Is this enough? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Agreed. Now, goodbye. Hey! I want to get... Certainly. I'd like to hone my... First you have to have some... Well, I'll think it over. The monastery wants you to pay for treatment. That doesn't sound right. Leave it be, Howell. I won't. What happened? We... Might have pummeled his face. Uh, but don't get involved, Henry. We'll settle it on our own. Wait, who exactly did you pummel? Well, he kept on bothering us and... Uh, in a nutshell, it was his fault and we're not going to talk about it anymore. But couldn't there be a way to settle it? Maybe he'd let you off the... There isn't. Don't be a twat, Fritz. The two of you are up to your necks in shit, and you're going to play tough instead of seeing sense. Go to hell, Henry. You and Elias. You want as bad as the other. If you say so, I'll leave it be. 
Good look then. Jesus, what have you been up to? God be with you. I finally found out where the Forger's workshop is. Master Fafar was right. The Forger's are sticking close to the supply source. Their workshop is somewhere in the mines. The entrance is on the eastern side of the hill. I've no idea what to expect there, but I'd rather go there with some backup. I will be glad to give it. Lead on. Well, let's go and see what we're up against. Have I got my shield out? Hi. Are you with me? Yeah, he's with me. You better not be ambushing me here, mate. I swear I'll take all of you to hell. See them. What are you doing here? Child of life, are you? Jesus Christ, I'll get my ass kicked here. Dog, getting about him, son. Nearly had me there. Take a shield. Come on, his shield, mate. Come on, a dog, man. I you need every bit of money you can get in this game by the way I don't know where the other guys were I thought they were over this way there's a sword there, we can take that right, move a lot of this to the horse What do you mean you can't carry it anymore? Come on. Oh, come on. <clears throat> it wasn't here for me. Nobody. Don't you worry. Hey, who's there? Don't you worry. In fact, come here, you. Get him. Aye, you know better. You can scream and shout on your mates all you want, they're already dead.
Can I bandage myself in fact? I'm not bleeding in fact, I don't need them. I just need to rest. Right, where did this guy go? You better not be leading me into a trap by the way. I don't trust this guy. How you doing Joe mate? I appreciate you coming to the stream mate. We're getting a second game of this. Uh, it got announced today. And we're... Right, somebody's ahead of us. And um, we're getting some news on the 18th. So next week. Cannot wait mate, honestly. I hope you're doing well Joe mate. Appreciate you coming to the stream pal. Right, there's a lot of people in here. He's talking to people, I think. Better not be leading me into an ambush. I am doing okay, Joe, mate. Appreciate you asking. What's your plans for the weekend, mate? Are you doing much over the weekend? Watch out. You got a serious hop. I'll be needing more charcoal. Out you go. Who are you, and what are you doing here? I'm here at the command of the Royal Hetman, Sir Radzid Kabila. And who's he? That's no concern of yours. I'm sure we could come to some sort of agreement. Uh, I have plenty of coin. <laughs> we can come to an agreement that you'll keep your mouth shut. Oh. <gasps> oh. <sighs> Please, don't take this personally. Wait! What? Do you want to do it? Be my guest. It gives me no pleasure. You can't kill him. I have orders to take him to Ratai. That is unfortunate. I have orders to kill everyone involved in this business. You can't do that! I have no choice, as you are aware. Listen, old man, I kicked your ass once. Don't make me kick it again. Why do you want to kill him? You may have valuable information. For that exact reason. Eh, uh, me too, mate. Nothing really planned, man. Just live streaming, Joe. I'm going to try and finish this over the weekend and uh, do some war zone, mate. You're a traitor. The world is not so black and white, boy. We were on the same side for a while, but no longer. That is how it goes. I won't back down, and clearly you won't either. So there's only one solution. Let's fight to the death, mate. Where's the dog? What now? Hold on, you just wait a minute. Alright, hey, get down here. You asked for this, old man. You asked for this, mate. I didn't want to kill you. I gave you that opportunity, I told you. Spot a kick. Let me turn around, mate. Time out. Oh, that's it. You're getting done now. Give up. Never. Oh. Hey, that's right. Wait a minute. Right, that's right. You're getting smashed. He's getting smashed. Oh no, I've not saved it for ages, man. Hope oh, that changes actually in the in the new game that's coming out. Hopefully, it saved here. That's not too bad. Right. 
Come on, you. Hurry up. Let's go. Come on. Move your ass. Right, you can deal with most of them now that I know you betray me. I'm actually going to try and save it here when we get up to this wee bit. Save it here. Right, moving on. Can you crawl through it with a sack of the answer to my prayer? Raise the alarm! Watch out! Calm down, lads. Camp. Right, that's fucking it, man. I'm smashing everybody. Everybody's getting smashed again this time. I want to try and draw them out, man, too, though. Is someone there? Hey. What are you doing here? Why am I not hitting them? Raise your arm! Watch out! What have we got here? Great. Bring it up. Who's one in next? You. Trying to fucking move, man. You all get my fall. Get him. You call that combat? Get him. Spot a kick. Dog, what you meant be? What did I pay you for, dog? That's sad, dog. Getting about him, son. Sorry, dog, I didn't mean to hurt you there. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. So they, they actually done that old guy. Get him, dog. Get him. Pooch. Take all your stuff. You had actually not too bad stuff. Right, this old guy's dead then, eh? It saved me from doing it. We need every penny. Right, so we're gonna get a different cutscene when we go through there because that old man died. Give me your sword, mate. Get away from, get off that sword. Fuck it. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> right, I've got a torch out now. Right, this should be a different cutscene now from the last one. Because it's just me. What do you want here? I don't know you. I'm here at the command of the royal hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. Radzig Kabila. The king's hetman. <laughs> I see. I'm here to place you under arrest. I gathered as much. And you came alone. Ha! <laughs> Very daring of you, I must say. You think all you can take me? I had sat like that attitude. Sometimes even a king can be deposed without an army. So I'm a king now, and you want to dethrone me? By the way, who betrayed me? That hardly matters, does it? Do you think I won't get a chance to settle up with them? But I hope you don't imagine I'm just going to follow meekly after you like a lamb to the slaughter. I don't know. Why don't you ask the men I hacked my way through to get here, if any of them are still alive? Do you think I'm scared of you? You should be. A fight, you should be terrified, mate. You don't know what Henry is. At least I stand a chance. True, but death will come sooner here. Better here by the sword than swinging like a common criminal. If you thought that the last time, you wouldn't have passed up your chance to slip out of the executioner's noose. And you might yet make terms with Sir Radzig somehow. Who knows? Or I'll kill you and have nothing to worry about. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Right, my... There we go. Spot a kick! Alright, you think you've got moves? Okay. I know, I can see you. That's it, just two clubs to the head and that's you, son. You ain't so tough now, are you, eh? Get up. Please, please. I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. <clears throat> you can talk all you like, but not here and not to me. Let's go. Let's go. Master Feyfar is very keen to meet you. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Feyfar. That's Crusty the Clown right there. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Ratai then. Right, I'm sure we can sell some stuff here, in fact. Aye, we should be able to. In fact, we're heading down to Ratai anyway, so... 
Alright, I need to do that in a second, but we're gonna head back down here quickly. I'm on my horse, in fact. No. We don't know. We don't want to walk that. Take the energy right out of you, man. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't fast travel because I'm too, too heavy. You know, actually, I might just sell it here. Let's head up here. Yeah. Never mind. Who are you? Come on, pebbles. Skies, he loses his right. We can't sell stolen stuff though to him, we can only sell them to the miller. I don't know if he'll take this, but. <clears throat> Let's try it. Good health there. Good luck, dear. Oh, he's got eight. Oh, no. He's only got four hundred, man. Jesus. Right, I'll need to do. Because we've went over a little bit, like we do three pound, but I don't mind that. Well, we can try it. Here, and uh, something for your trouble. My word, thank you kindly. Right, we should be able to fast travel now, though. I'm stuck. Right, put the stuff, the rest of the stuff that I've got on the horse. Aye, we're good now. We'll head to the miller, sell the rest, and then we'll head up there and talk to that guy.
UFC 300 this weekend as well. I cannot wait for that, by the way. So much good card, uh, good fights on that card. Like, I've seen a lot of people complaining about it as well, too, saying that it wasn't good enough, man. But when you look at the card, man, and all the fighters there, man, you're like, how can you not say that was fucking good enough, man? They're basically all the top tier fighters. Right, come here, you old man. God be with you. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right, let's see what we can do about that. God be with you. Right, that's actually got a few things here. Right, that's us. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Satisfied? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. All right, so. I've got something for you. I got them from Uncle Peshek. Just don't go poking them where you shouldn't. Uh, they're lock picks. They're not really intended for poking in your own locks. True. But at least don't get caught. And if you do, you didn't get them from me. I've got something that needs stitching up. Could you do it for me? All right. I can't have you walking around in torn rags, can I? Show it here. Hail the conquering hero. Matthew and Fritz and their regards. They survived. My god, I'm glad. They helped me out a lot. And where did you see them? In Sassau. I bumped into them in front of the tavern. Where else? And how are they doing? Uh, they're not doing very well. The monks helped them get over the worst of it. But they have debts and can't find any work. Poor souls. You wouldn't happen to know of any jobs going for two lazy carpenters. Not here. And I think it will be the same in all of Ratai. It's overcrowded with refugees and they're all looking for work. Mm, that's bad. Those two need work badly to keep them out of mischief. You know what they're like. I do indeed. Try the mills in the smaller hamlets. The miller in Lodechko is old. Maybe he could use some strong hands. I'll oh, ask around. Thanks. Right, let's head up to, uh, go and see that cobbler guy, Sir Radzik. Dad! Dad! Stop walking away from me, Dad! There's the man! Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him. 
But then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. What tower? I go and talk to him first. In fact, I even need to get the key first. In fact, where is he up here? The typical way. He's all the way up at the other end. I was gonna go out that way, but uh, wrong way. Shut up, mate. No, it's not him back there. Is it in here? Good health to you. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. I agree with you, mate. Don't take it that way. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can hoodwink me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. Here's Don't worry, I'll beat this holy spirit into him, mate. I'll be with you. Where is it? In the bailiff's tower, is he? I think he is. I think he's in the bailiff tower, actually. I'm going the wrong way. Uh. He's not up here. I'm stuck. Anybody here? No? Rob this in. What's in here? Nothing. <clears throat> Spot a kick! Where is this guy in here? Nah. He 
is here, but I just don't know where. What the fuck has gone on? It's shown that it's like here, but... Jump up on that, Henry. Right, he's in a tower at the side there. How do you get to the bailiff again? Go my way. This is it here. Oh, I'm gonna give you a beat in your lifetime, pal. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor, you're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. I suppose there's some truth in that. I may speak with Sir Radzig and he might pardon you, but not unless you start talking. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. This Eric, you reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sassau, that armed men were being recruited, and they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything.
This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. Crimps? You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sassau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. I have to think about it. I don't want to annoy Sir Radzig. Um, I'm not too sh Well, we'll find out. We're gonna find out about the second game on the 18th, Joe. Um, I hope it looks. I hope the graphics are like really, really good. I hope it's an. <clears throat> I hope it's next gen only. I hope it's a next gen only game, mate. So we can see what it, like the PS5 and next gen can really do, mate. Because we haven't really had much, like. Only next gen games. I know we had Spider Man and Alan Wake 2. But that's really all I can really think of, to be honest. Um, and Helldiver, in fact. Helldiver was next gen exclusive. But uh, I am hoping. I'm hoping it's going to be. Like, a lot more better graphics. I hope there's going to be, um, more wildlife in it. Like, bears, um, cougars. Well, depending on the, the location. But, uh, like, I bears and, um, wolves and stuff like that, mate. So what have you learned? Um, All sorts of things. I don't think it's going to be there's in the same setting. And the same character who we are. I think it's going to be a new location and a new character. Really? That's what Yezek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. But we'll find out on the 18th, mate. And I'm going to do a live stream of that event. No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. But if someone at the monastery is perpetrating crimes against the crown... True enough. Why don't I go and arrest King Sigismund of Luxembourg while I'm about it? He's committed a crime or two as well. I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasa. I'll find out though, sir. Damn. I'll find out, Dad. So it looks like Pribislovitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Yezhek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. Oh, somebody must know something. I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the rod house. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. And I'll take I'll them out when they're all sleeping. They Got it. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one else who can help as much <clears throat> as you can now. As you command, sir. 
You didn't promise that other guy nothing, mate. You knew what you was getting into. Hey, what? Are we on seven? Aye, that's not too bad. Right, hold on, where's that other one though? Must not be able to do that yet. Right, we'll head up there now. How much money have I got on me now, in fact? Better one, that's not too bad. You really need to keep all your money in this game, honestly. It's brutal, but you will figure out. You will find out soon. Right, let's just head up now. Fast travel. Yeah, but uh, Warhorse uh, War Studios, the people that make this game, They've been working on a new game since 2018, when this finished, when they finished making this game. And everybody's saying that it's the second game of this. Like, it's definitely going to be the second game. Like, because this game done so well, as well, mate, eh? So, aye, everybody's saying it's going to be Kingdom Come Deliverance too. Oh shit, I've been caught. Yeah, blood will be Is... spilt. No, it won't. No, it won't. Maybe it will, maybe not. I thought we was going to get caught there. <clears throat> right, we're good, I think. Yeah. I'm still showing they're there, though. Still saying I'm in combat. Come on, hurry up, there we go. It's away now. Come on, fast travel. Trying to find somewhere I can sleep for free tonight. Is there a wee bed in here? No. I will pick lock this though. Unless he's coming in here now. Can I do anything to help? I'm not here. I said I'm not here. What's it to be? <laughs> There'll be bed up to the back here. Right, I do need to sleep. Right, nope.
Right, I don't even think there is a place that I can sleep here. place here I can sleep. Just put my head down for a couple of hours. Nah, we don't want any of that. Got plenty of bandages too. I don't actually think I can sleep anywhere here. Right, so let's head back down here. Can't talk to you. Must be inside. No? The person is inside. I need to talk to one of you. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no. <laughs> you, guy, come here. Try and get his attention. You better open the store for me. I travelled a long way to come and see you. Get out of here. Well, I'll patiently wait then, eh? Twiddle my thumbs when I'm doing it. Yeah mate, well see, I've been thinking, I've been thinking mate, well, we're definitely getting a PlayStation Showcase, see in May next month, and uh, lots of people are saying that Ghost of Tsushima 2 is going to be the main game being shown on it, and um, and uh, what's it called again, oh it's you I need to talk to, um, Silent Hill 2 is meant to be there as well, I'm but <clears> this game is getting, like, Warhorse Studio, the people that make this game, is um, going to drop it next week, like some trailer or gameplay, but gaming places don't usually do that unless there's like a showcase or a state of play. The only people that are big enough to really drop it on their own is like Rockstar, Capcom, stuff like that. Where this studio that makes this game have made many games at all. So it makes me think there might be a PlayStation uh, state of play next week that's just not been announced yet. Because they usually do announce them only a few days before it happens or a day before it happens. They've done that a few times. So I do, I've got a feeling we're going to get a PlayStation Showcase next week, mate. 
Hey, PlayStation, stay off play. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? And what's your idea of suspicious? Have you heard of anyone looking to hire some rough men? Mercenaries, you mean? Yes. There were some fellows conspiring here in the corner twice a week, and others coming and going. They didn't look entirely respectable, but they never made any trouble. I'd like to see some DLC for Spider-Man as well. Because we're definitely going to get that. Just, it's a matter of time. And what happened to them? I don't know, they just stopped coming. And I haven't seen hide nor hair of them since. You haven't heard anything about where they went? How could I have? They just stopped coming, and that's that. Where do you think they might be meeting now? How should I know? I'm an honest innkeeper, not a man at arms. They could be meeting at another inn. They could be meeting in the woods by the light of the moon, for all I know. Got it too right here. Is there any way I'll recognize them? Unquenchable thirst? Hey, they drank like me. fish. They were rough looking too. Big bearded and scruffy. Aside from that, they mostly kept to themselves. Well, that's not much help. What did they do while they were waiting for someone? They drank. And they played dice. I do remember there are always dice on the table. So they were fond of dice, were they? And where would you find a game around here? Anywhere there's dice and usually drink. That's all you need for a game. The pub. Although it dawns on me now, I never saw Simon with the tavern. Enough. He's got a nose for drunken dice players with a coin to lose. Simon who? Yeah, it's definitely he did, mate. He runs Katzik Mill. Neighbours are always slandering him for trafficking, but who knows? Maybe he just has a knack for business. You don't know where I might find some um, more dishonourable folk. And why would you want them? You'll set tongues wagging about you. But they'd be the ones to know what reputable townsfolk don't. I grant you that. Well, we don't have an executioner, just a knacker. But he's an odd fellow. Like any knacker, I suppose. And there's some strange tales about Miller Simon, too. But I'd say it's just jealousy. What can you tell me about the knacker? Decent folk don't talk about him. He deals in carcasses. Well, I was hoping you'd tell me a bit more than that. Why should I care about him? He lives in a house by the church, and that's all I know. And all I'll say. What can you tell me about Simon? There's not much to tell. He runs Katzig Mill, and some say thieves meet there at night. But isn't there gossip about every miller? I don't think he's a sinner. But only God knows for sure. Anything else? You might not find him at the mill. He's a busy man, always out and about making some deal or other. My pleasure. And he likes to throw dice, especially when he sees a fat purse hanging on a drunken belly. Right, so we're gonna go check the, the bar, the tavern. In fact, we're here, we're at a tavern right now. I'm looking for an odd jobber here. Elijah's his name. From Moho yet? Yes, I know him. I haven't seen him yet today, but he comes here almost daily. He's bound to show up. Ah. Well, thank you. Take care now. Hey, you've not got a big beard. Right, Henry's starting to get a bit tired. He's not the only one to be fair, but I'm I'm a soldier. Is that pebbles? No, it's no pebbles. Pebbles. Oh I did yes. Right, let's head out. Wait there, I've spoke to him before, but what's he chatting again? I remember this vaguely. Only he shall enter therein. 
Jesus Christ be praised. What are you preaching here, Father? I preach the truth, my son. Do you wish to listen? Why do you say such things about the church? The church is here to save us, isn't it? The church is here to save only itself. Its purses, its fancy cathedrals, its fine clothes and jewels. And what did the Pope do? No, the Popes. What did they do while Scalitz was raised to the ground? They looked on in silence. Yes, I suppose. But surely it's not possible that... Uh... That the Church could allow such terrible sins? The Church, my son, is nothing but man. And men are deceived and sinful. Give power to men, and they will act towards their brothers like ravenous dogs. Like the Cumans act towards our people. Like Cain towards Abel. What you say makes sense, Father. But aren't you afraid of being denounced as a heretic? I may be. But whatever fate awaits me, I will face it with the truth on my lips and Christ's love in my heart. Good luck, then. <laughs> Yeah. Way there, I thought that was in here. So it's not in here. Moving on. Yeah. My bad, just punched the mic there. Right, it's more you bailiff. So we guy in this room in here, I think. Fucking over that Henry. You, come here you. God be with you. Are you the local knacker? I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me anti -neckery. Well then you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man. Not always honest, but decent. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. As brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Ah, but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. I don't even go to the tavern much these days. And what's been happening in Sasau lately? Nothing interesting. Except maybe that bitch being slaughtered. I think he's what? lying to me. He knows. He knows more than he's letting on. Nothing interesting. No. I mean a dog bitch. It was a while back, but they called me to clear it up. What happened? The dog looked like she'd been hacked to bits. They were scared it was some demon, but as far as I could see, someone took a sword or an axe to her. Why on earth would anyone do that? What do I know? Maybe he was snooping around where he shouldn't. And the some dog at the end of the day. All right. It was some dog bitten fellow being cared for at the monastery. Only they kept him there on account of a broken <clears> leg. <throat> Maybe that's the same one. Thank you. I'll be going now. Very well. Feel free to stop by any time. People shy away from me, except when there's a death, or the cesspit's full. Okay then, take care now, bye bye then. Um, up here. Yeah, I seen that mate. I seen that John mate. It's definitely worth the buy. 
See if you haven't played this game before mate, I highly recommend you to play it. Especially if you like games like Skyrim and like Elder Scrolls games, kind of like that. But obviously it's more grounded, it's not like got dragons or magic or anything like that in it. Um, such a good game this though mate. Thank you for joining the live stream mate. Um, I cannot wait for the second game. It, it got announced today by the way. Um, well, they didn't announce Kingdom Come Deliverance, but they did announce that they're going to be making a new, well, their new game. They're going to show it on the 18th, which is next month, uh, next week, sorry. So, um, it's definitely going to be Kingdom Come Deliverance too. I cannot wait for it, mate. It's one of my best games, this, John. Greetings, Henry. It's honestly, I, I really highly recommend this game. Although I will say to you, mate, right? See the combat in it. It can be very tricky. And it might make you want to rage quit to start with. But see the first couple of days of playing the game, mate. I would just... Wee tips for you, mate. Just keep doing your combat. Keep training. Like in combat. Because um, the combat in this game is absolutely solid until you get to a certain skill level, then you kick ass, mate. And see your dog in the game, try and level up your dog because he's very handy in combat. You can get him to attack uh, other NPCs. And um, the third tip I'll give you, mate, save, save it up all your money. Like, don't spend your money, mate. Just keep saving it and saving it. I don't want to say why, because I don't want to spoil things for you. But yeah, mate, save up all your money. Work on your combat. Like, when you first get to the game, honestly, you really need to work on your combat. And level your dog up. That's the three tips that will give you for this game, mate. But the story is absolutely brilliant, by the way. What's happening here? Oh my god, Philip and they're all... Thank you for joining the live stream mate. Do I do lots of different content here on this channel. I, have no idea. I can live stream like no, PlayStation no. 1 games, PS2 games, PS3 games, all the way up to PS5. I can do every PlayStation game mate. You wouldn't happen to know what um, here, would you? Don't but I'm really looking like forward that. to the second game. I'm going to live stream the event that they're going to do as well, man. So they started drinking. I'm trying to help people in dire need, and the two of them are drinking with that cretin Elias. They always have been thought. I need to see him. They were punished for it. Who is this Elias, anyway? One of the ordinal monks who helps out here. He was the one who brought the booze. All three of them got friendly pretty fast. I'm sure it's him I need to talk to. What kind of person is this Elias? Mm, a timid kind of fellow. And why is he being so hard on Fritz and Matthew? They're drowning in debt because of him, and it seems all they had was a small fight. I don't know. He was the one who wanted to befriend them in the first place. I don't believe it's because of any property damage they did. It's got more to do with wounded pride. And do you know what got between them? I don't have a clue. One minute they're the best friends in the world, and then... A lot of yelling and furniture flying around. They threw Fritz and Matthew out straight afterwards. Thank you. That's all I need. No, I don't want to help you. You're good. You're good. I've got my own stuff I need to deal with. But yeah, see, another thing I'll mention to you, John, mate. See these pots here. Sometimes you come across enemy people, right? And you can poison the food. I can even poison this food and see if nobody sees me do it. You can literally... There's another pot down here, right? And if nobody sees you poison the pots, you can sit down and watch the full town get sick. Then they will die. Like, everybody will die. But you can put that poison 
on your sword as well, or your mace, whatever weapon you're using as well. Right, where is this guy? Right, I'll do that first, in fact. The Fritz. Is it back up here? I don't think it's in here, is it? Nah, it's up the back, I think. Unless it's you, brother. Ah, it is. Ah, it is him. I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. So it was you they fought with? <coughs> yes, it was me. And I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt? How are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. <laughs> You'll be looking forward to the maidens, mate. You, you actually get bathhouses in this game too. Look, I can see you. And hey, I, they can take care of you in this game. But see, in the second game, when it comes out, mate, I really hope. Of course, I would. I really hope they do, like um. Please, no. Like, see, I don't know if you ever played a game called Fable. They were for the Xbox 360 back in the day. And in this game, you could, like, buy um, houses and rent them out. But you, this game is really realistic. Like, it tries to be so grounded in reality. But, um... Sorry, I, had a, I was reading that there for a second. And um, I hope that you're able to buy the houses and rent them out and then, like, get married in the game and stuff like that. Just go, like, proper realistic. Right, all good. I don't need to actually talk to him for this stuff. But, eh... Uh, aye, I hope it's something like that, how Fable did that in their game. Uh, just with this game being really like grounded down down to earth, like realistic wise, um, I hope they add more things like that because you need to eat in the game, you need to sleep, and see if in combat you can like uh, bleed out. You need to bandage yourself up, and sometimes like I've got lots of bandages here, but we're we're badass, mate. We don't need these anymore. But, um, yeah, you need to sleep and see when you're in battle, sometimes like certain, your leg can get damaged, your arm can get damaged, your head, stuff like that too, so you need to go back and rest. Um, but the game's, honestly, it's so good, man. The combat's a bit tricky, though, until you get, you get used to it. But I've got, like, a wee thing in the game what I can do after a certain level, like, of you leveling up your skills for combat, you can um, just basically spot a kick the enemy and then club them over the head with a mace. That's what I do and it works out fine. Unless I'm fighting more than two players, then it can get a bit tricky. Greetings, Henry. Thank you, John, mate. Thank you for subscribing, pal. I really appreciate it, mate. Um, and I hope you have a great day, mate. I appreciate you. And if you do buy this game, let me know what you think of it. And the same if you ever get stuck with anything. Just let me know, mate, and um, I'll help you out. And have a great day, mate. I appreciate you again, pal. So can I help at all? Certainly. I can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Ratai unconscious, and I needed a healer. <clears throat> How is everyone holding up? So I do think I need to help here. Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food. I appreciate you, mate, and I hope you have a great weekend when it comes, man. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> Scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. I don't want to take a look. Brother Nicodemus? 
Who's he? He takes care of the injured. He knows something about herbs and a little about setting broken bones. And is he good at it? He tries, but he doesn't have. I'm better at breaking bones, so he can take care of that. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. I'll have a word with him. He has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around. Oh, I've seen that wee bug glitch thing on her face there. I don't know if you all what caught else? that there. What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. Oh, the dirty like dog. If, if you like. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. I'll spot a kick him. It definitely won't help the refugees. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. You've been there getting feisty. Time I just had enough of it all. Of the way they treat us and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I'll get I don't speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale. He doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. Oh, yeah, man, that'd him. be sorry. I don't know if we did it right. Like, I've never broke a bone, but imagine breaking it that bad where the, the bone comes out of the skin. Wet. How painful would that be? And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. <laughs> I'll straighten his leg. I'll try it. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? I'll give it a go. Not like I can make it any worse. So you don't know anything? Don't even think about touching that poor man. <laughs> That's me told. What about the executioner from Ratai? He usually breaks bones, but he might know something about mending them too. The executioner? Even if you could persuade him to come, they'll never let him in here. Well, maybe it would be enough if he advised me, and then I tried. Look, do whatever you want. I have to go and take care of. Well, I did say I would try and fix his leg, but you just said no. So, you know, technically, I can't do it. Everything, anything I want. Tell me more about the situation. Oh shit! I didn't mean that. It doesn't matter. All right, I've all done all that. Know. Right, moving on. Right, Henry needs a sleep too, though. Right, where is this guy? He's all the way up here, man. Oh, that's in Miller Camp. Where's the ex executioner then? So, some must be him down here. No? Right, anyway, I'll go down here and do this quickly. I I can't believe this is only like four pound. It's well worth it, and that's the royal edition too, where you get all the DLC with it and everything. It's brilliant, like this guy. 
him right here, Fritz. He remembers me of somebody I know in real life called your Skiddy. With the your best friend settled the matter. We... We won't forget this. Oh, on my honour. Thanks. In fact, we don't want to train. See you later. Right, where's that executioner then? Right, it's not that green one down there. Right, I'm no getting past that. I wish you'll be able to swim in the new one as well. Yeah. Should get over that. Aye. This poor soul's about to get choked out. Charles Oliveira style. <laughs> Is that some new? God save you. What can I do for you? Listen, have you heard about anyone looking to recruit men around here? Or planning some kind of mischief? No. Come on. I know how it is with Millers. I've been friends with a few and they hear all the gossip. So go ask them. I doubt their ears reach all the way here. Then it seems you're out of luck. Surely we can come to some... Um, I'm playing this on the PS5, mate. But it's the... PS4 version graces, and well, if I I've not played it on PC although I have a PC drawn me but see to be honest I reckon the, P uh, the PC might be better especially for combat mate like I do I would love to play this game on mouse and keyboard because I feel like that's what it was meant to be for but you can get used of the combat and the controls quite easy enough on controller. But I personally would say PC mate. But if you're used of a controller instead of the mouse and keyboard, then I would maybe say the PS5. Right, we don't want to work. I'm Henry from Scalex, and I'm looking to mill a bit of extra coin. Yeah, just for combat though, mate. 
I would definitely say mouse and keyboard would be better. I'll get into a little bit of combat in a second, mate, just so you can see what I mean, mate. The tailor in Sasso has received some valuable brocade. Can you get it for me? No problem. You'll be here in no time at all. Good. It ought to be at his shop. Bring the whole ball. You haven't heard of any recruiters around here, have you? People looking for armed men? Perhaps, but I'll not speak of it now. Why not? It's important. Because we're in the middle of something. Come on. Nothing bad will happen if you talk to me. Perhaps not, but I'll tell you when we're done. My memory will be sharper then. Right. Christ, it's like pulling teeth with you. I hope you're more generous with your grossness. After this part, mate. After I do this. Right, aye. We should be good. good luck to you. Right, I'm gonna head up to a wee place where I know there is some combat. Might take a wee minute to get there, I'll probably get my ass kicked too because we're quite tired. I'm not that far away, so let's just head up there. Wait, I could get a combat here in fact. Sometimes you get ambushed, right? I'm gonna do that this time. Right, this is the combat, mate. I'll show you now. Let's see how you can move side to side. I just clobber them over the head. That's all I do in this. You want smoke? You want smoke too then? And you can parry. You can parry too, mate. Right, one's down. Ah, oh, you're running. Oh my, you're, he's hitting my dog, he's hitting my dog. I cannot have that. And yeah, like I said, you can put poison. And I'm going to do that right now, in fact. See, after a while in this game, you just become a badass. And like I said, you can clobber them over the head with a mace or any kind of weapon that you prefer to use. Um, but aye, such a good game, this. But like, see how you've seen the, the combat? It was like you could hit left, right, bottom, like uh, bottom right, bottom left. And then stuff like that, but you can do like parrying as well too. Um, it's so much fun, but it's annoying. See, when you first play the game, it's quite difficult to get used to it. But when you get used to the the controls of the game, it's honestly brilliant, mate. I highly recommend this game, mate, to people that like medieval stuff or even um, Skyrim. Like, where's the rest of the stuff? And you can become overweight and stuff like that, too. Like, uh, it shows it there, in fact, it looks like a bag. He's carrying a big bag over his back. But you can put some stuff in your horse as well, like in the, the saddle basically. I'm trying to pick that sword up. And like I said though too, John mate, you need every, every bit of money you can get in this game. But I won't spoil why.
Right, horse can't carry any more stuff. No. What about these gloves? Aye. But it can't even carry that. Nope. Now though, the the pain in the arse thing, the thing that's really annoying by the way, with this, when you you're carrying too much. I'll show you right now. With pebbles here. Pebbles is the horse you start off with. But you're able to buy a horse as well. But like I said, you need to save all your money. So I'm still sitting here with pebbles. And look, I can't get on my horse because I'm too overloaded. <coughs> Which means you can't fast travel either. So if I wanted to sell this stuff. I would either need to come here, which, if it's stolen stuff, like, not from bandits or humans, you'll not be able to sell them to these people here. But, see, down here, there's a miller, and he sells, he buys stolen stuff. But he's the guy who's got the most money as well, this guy down here. So it's probably best to go to him. It's going to be a nightmare this by the way, because I need to walk back now. And look how far it is too. Start on the recording. Oh, maybe not. So I... I hope they change this in the new game that will be coming out. Like, I hope you're able to fast travel no matter what. Because this can get so frustrating at times. I've did this so many times, in fact. Like, needing to walk back because, like I say, like I keep saying, you need every penny, you need all the money you can get in this game. Or do you play your uh, PC games on Steam Deck? What's the Steam Deck like, mate? Would you recommend it? I've always had a look at it, mate, eh? Um, like, I've been watching it to see what it was like. And I've seen a few people say it was quite good. It's kind of like a PSP. If you're, if you're, like, a wee bit older like me, you'll know what that is, mate. But, aye. I like the look of that, mate. I don't play much um, games on the PC. I usually only use it for editing and uploading to like TikTok and other accounts, like other uh, platforms. So this is the only thing that really annoys me about the game though. Like sometimes when you're too overweight you need to go back. But you can get horses that can carry more stuff. And you get like skills, uh, level ups. Um, where, where is it? Horse. In here. But I've got them all, I think. I must have, because it's not showing it. Aye, I must have got them all, because it's not showing. But after I use the money that I've got here, I'm going to get a better horse as well. Because the one that you have right now is terrible for battles. Henry's about to pass out as well, he's getting sleepy. You can get drunk in the game and everything too. You can actually become an alcoholic. You get a trophy for that. We've got a little journey back, by the way, everybody. We've got a wee journey ahead of us.
Bishy's annoying me in this game too. I think Henry's going to pass out before we even get to our destination. I do hope they uh, they bring in more wildlife because it's only like uh, rabbits and deer that's in this game, and I would like to see like more predators like wolves, bears, stuff like that. But like I said, it depends on the the location they go with next. But back in medieval Scotland. We still did have wolves and bears, kind of, kind of, but that was roughly the time when we killed all of our wild animals as such, because we don't have anything like that here in Scotland. The only real wild animals that we have are foxes and the Scottish the Scottish uh, wildcat and even at that, that's going extinct <clears throat> right there, that's the Scottish, that's the flower of Scotland the Scottish thistle right here So annoying, you need to walk back, man. And I do hope they had like swimming into Kingdom Come Deliverance too. Because he's like John from Red Dead Redemption, he can't swim. But it's not even going to let me over this, like it did. I'm actually quite shocked by that though. Muck gets in your way at times too, like, but it's best to have him with you. Like, my friend, um, he plays this, we do PlayStation Share together, so whatever games I, I buy, he can play, and whatever games he buys, I can play, and it's because of him I'm able to play this game, so he, when you get the dog, he didn't take the dog with him, but I'm like Ace Ventura, pet detective. When it comes to animals, I love all animals, especially dogs. So we need to take Mutt with us. And uh, he's, he's definitely worth taking because like I said, after you're leveling him up and all you need to do really is feed him and praise him, like tell him he's a good lad. And then it will level him up and then he'll start helping you in battle. He'll start attacking the people. And, like he starts growling and barking when there's enemies nearby what you can't see. And he'll hunt for you as well and stuff like that too, so he is really handy to have. In fact, we're going to cross over this way. So we wee Tommy knocker down there. I don't 
don't think I'm getting up over this. If I had the horse, it would. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Might be a steep way on the way back down though. How far have you gone now? We're actually nearly there, that's not too bad. I'm not going my way there again, man. You calm yourself down, soldier. Really looking forward to games of Warzone later on with the team. I actually feel like I've not been on with the team, like the full team, everybody together for a while. So I hopefully my brother's back from his holiday, I don't actually know if he is. But he better be fucking back and ready. Ready for war. Cause I'm gonna take heads off. We've came across a lot of people that is doing the nook. And see one thing what annoys me too though with that. I thought like other team like other enemy team would be able to steal the nook. And we were fighting See, it's like a uh, outside prison on Rebirth Island. There's like wee tents sitting there. And there was a team there trying to do their nook. But we we were there fucking them up. And I tried to grab the nook when my team were like distracting them. But it wouldn't let you take it. Uh, but we've, we've nearly got the nooks anyway. Well, I'm not on as much is what my teammates are, because that's all they play is Warzone and because I live stream lots of different games and that's what I do through the week is live stream other games and then Warzone at the weekend at night so uh, they've nearly got the nooks already in that too so we're going to be doing them on stream I've been coming across a lot more hackers though, see on Rebirth. And I'm not somebody who will call out everybody for hacking. I'm not one of the people. Like if somebody beats me, I won't be like, oh he's hacking, I'm not that kind of person. Um, it's only the ones that are really obvious. Then, you know, but... Aye, there has been Activision banned like over 2,000 accounts over that week, like last weekend as well, uh, permabanned them, and I've been seeing a lot of stream, well some streamers on Twitter mentioning that they got banned and stuff too, but I said that, I was like, if, if Activision, they wouldn't ban somebody for nothing, there must have been some kind of sus thing they found on their PC to ban them, for the reason to ban them. You know, I mean, I've live streamed for a while now on Call of Duty, on Warzone. I've been live streaming Warzone since the end of Warzone 1, and I've never been banned. So it just kind of shows you, really. Right, I might break my legs here. Kind of go side to side a wee bit. Right, I think we should be good here in fact, even if we fall down a little bit. Right, so how are we going to get through here? We need to go... Maybe not, aye, this way. In town. Definitely gonna finish this game over the weekend as well, everybody. 
such a good game. It's so underrated. This came out, right, this got lots of awards when it first came out, right? But it was still really underrated because Red Dead Redemption came out at this time. And so did God of War Ragnarok 2018. Eh, sorry, not Ragnarok. God of War 2018 came out the same time this did. And I remember seeing this getting announced that I've always kept my eye on this game. Let's see, even before it came out. I remember seeing it at like E3 or something like that. And I said that to my friend because he's proper into games like this. So I told him about it and I kept my eye on it and let him know when it came out, eh? Um, but definitely one of the best games I've ever played this. Such an underrated game, man. And there's so much you can do in it. We could have slept there, but we're nearly there anyway. Get a wee wash. We're nearly there everybody, we're nearly there. Could have been worse, I could have been all the way up in Scarlet's. But like I said, money is everything. Money's everything in this game. And you will find out soon enough. The archery is really good in this game, I like that, but I see a lot of people saying it's quite tough, but see when you get used to it, it's really good. Like I love the archery in this game, I feel like that guy out of Lord of the Rings, see that, what's his name, Legolas? Is this even the one I'm, ah it is. Right, and then just mark that wee bridge right there. I'm stuck. Yeah, I wanted to buy Dragon Dogma 2, but I see a lot of people complaining about it. But a lot of people are saying it looks better on the PS5 than what it does on the PC. And that's crazy, mate. Because PC's always been more superior compared to the consoles. But, aye mate, let me, uh, I might actually buy that too, mate. See, the first game of Dragon Dogma. If that's on PS5, mate, I'm going to buy that. Um, but aye, this game is so good, mate. You will enjoy this game. Some of the scenes in the game will get you laughing, man. It's honestly brilliant. So have you all got much planned for this weekend, everybody? Other than gaming and stuff? Are you still here, Joe, mate? So what part of uh, America are you from, John, mate? Just with your writing sense as well. Like when you were talking about the, how much this game was. That was how I knew you were from America, mate. Eh? Or you could have been, you could be Canadian too, because I'm sure they use like dollar and cents and nickel, or whatever it's called. 
not too sure about the Americans currency. Are you still here, bro? If you're free on uh, Sunday, Joe, I'll get you on for a few games, mate. If uh, you're free for some games of Warzone, man. And you're quite right, John, mate. See, that's what I'll do as well. If I bought the games or play the first game and then wait a wee bit and get into the second game. See, I thought the second game looked really good, mate. And I was going to buy it. But see, because I've got, like, I've got Twitter, mate, because I do streaming and my content. So I post a lot of stuff on Twitter. And um, I'm seeing lots of other content creators. Um shitting basically on Dragon Dogma 2 and talking about how it's got um, like pay to win where you can buy like see like about like how Call of Duty have got like battle passes and skins and stuff like that too and like you can buy stuff to to become more powerful in Dragon Dogma so <clears throat> I, I don't know I'm going to buy it at some point mate because it is right up my alley. And I, I'm a big Capcom fan. Like the Resident Evil games. Um, <clears throat> I've also got Haunting Ground. Which is a PlayStation 2 game by Capcom. And it's one of the most valuable and looked for games. For like all collectors. Like see gaming, collector, gaming collectors. Um, they always are looking for this game, eh? And I found that it was dear right enough. When I bought it, it was very expensive, but <clears throat> I bought it so I could flex a little bit, to be honest. That's what it was really down to. But I like to do all different uh, content here, bro. Are you from Texas, mate? I'd love to visit there, mate. I've got a lot of um, viewers people that come to my channel that are from Texas as well and I speak to a lot of content creators on Twitter who are from Texas as well mate like I complain seeing the I'm from Scotland John mate right so like the weather's always cold here but see in the summer me and a lot of Scottish people complain on Twitter about how warm it is and that we can't deal with it and I can remember seeing um, somebody from Twitter, uh, from Texas, posting how warm it was over there in the summer. And I was like, oh, man, I was like, that's like I'm just gonna stop complaining now about the heat because that was like, man, I couldn't stay in Texas. I couldn't even go and visit there, mate, just because of how hot it would be. Like us Scottish are not built for the sun. At all, mate. And nice one, Joe, mate. I'll definitely 100% get you on, bro. We'll get another win, mate. This time on Rebirth, because I'm sure the last time when we got games, it was Fortune's Keep, wasn't it? <clears throat> but aye, I'll get you on stream, mate, and we'll do a... Um, we'll get a few games. Me, you... I don't know if it'll be Lucas or Moda. I don't know if you've seen, if you've talked to Monitor yet. It's just another wee Scottish guy who comes to the live streams. He's sound, he's cool, Joe. Um, but if not him, it'll just be the same again. Me, you, McLovin, and Lucas, mate. We're nearly there, everybody. We're nearly there. And thank you for still being here, Joe, mate. I know it's really late, or you could say really early, where you are right now, mate. All right, I'm going to try and take a wee shortcut here. In fact, I don't think that's going to work, because there's a bridge we need to go over. Where's the bridge? Straight ahead of us. Aye, right, straight ahead. My guy's knackered, he's tired, he's hungry, he's overweight.
No problem, uh, no problem, John, mate. I appreciate you coming to the live stream, dude. And welcome again to the channel, man. I live stream every day, mate. Every day, bro. Um, but I thank you again, mate. And remember, if you need help with anything on Kingdom Come Deliverance, just let me know, mate, and I'll give you advice, bro. Or where's the best things to find better armour? Get all that stuff for free, basically, instead of paying. But I cheers again, mate, and enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll speak to you over the weekend, bro. Right, we can jump down here. Hi. I don't think I'm going to get through any of them, though. We'll find out today. No, we're not getting through that. Nah, no chance. Could do with a bite to eat. Should let you walk through that. I'm going to end this in a second too, everybody. I'm going to try and get some sleep too. I'm just going to get back to the miller. Save it. Get a, something to eat. And then I'm going to call it a night, everybody. But I'm going to pick back up on this tomorrow. Through the day. And um, after that, I'm going to spend most of the day on this game. Tomorrow. And then I'm going to do some Warzone. Uh, squad zone Warzone. Should see it at the weekend, man, it's sweaty as fuck. Love it though. But I've been noticing as well, actually. A lot of camp. Are you getting this, Joe? In fact, too, mate. There's a lot of campers on Rebirth. And it's. Even the sweaty players are camping. I feel like it's just me and my team that run around the map hunting other teams. Basically, that's what it feels like. But I have been enjoying it though. It has been good to have Rebirth back again. Right, I'll get a wee quick bite to eat here. Because there's a wee pot up here too. We do, we do have sweats, like, there is, there is sweats, man, but I feel like all of them are camping, man, and it fucking drives me insane, mate. Like, um, especially in prison. In prison, I don't like to go to prison. I only go if I need to go, if you get me, like, if the circle's pulling that way. But I always try and avoid prison, because they just sit in the rooms and camp. But I, we were talking about that, like there's no in between, there's, there's just campers or it's sweaty, and sometimes it's oh, I, damn, even both. <sighs> I can't wait until the, orig the original map comes back though for dance. See people are like, that's never coming back, that's never coming back. And I, I'm like, mate, Rebirth came back, Fortune's Keep came back. If you think that they're not bringing back the OG map, you're fucking mad. It's definitely coming back because, like I said, as well before, they've got it. They've got it all done already because Modern Warfare 3, that was for dance, the campaign mode, and they've got it on for uh, the mobile as well right now, and. Uh, <coughs> Like I said, the other maps all came back there too. So I, um, I'm sure it, I seen Charlie Intel talking about it, saying it was actual confirmed that it's coming back in Gulf War, uh, Call of Duty Gulf War.
God save you. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Good luck, then. No problem, Joe, mate. I appreciate you being here, pal. I'm going to end this here now to everybody. Just as soon as I've done this, I'm going to give it an end. And uh, I'll be alive again tomorrow, quite early with this game. And then, like I said, I'm going to do Warzone. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Joe, you're a legend too, brother. And I'll see you Sunday. I'm trying to think what day there. Oh, wrong one. Keep them. Get red, get red, get red. Man, I've got so much stuff here. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. Agree? I don't want to shake on that. Aye. Hey, that it's forbidden to walk at night. I'm going to end this here now anyway, everybody. Thank you all for your time and I hope you all enjoyed the content. Welcome to everybody who's now as well a live stream, lots of different games here from PlayStation 1 all the way up to PS5. So if you'd like to see any old content, let me know. Thank you all for your time and I'll see you over the weekend. Take care of yourself team.